here's the thing. How old are you? You're very young. 50. No, no. 35. I didn't say how old do you look. I said how old are you? <laughs> I will, I'll I'm ba- 50 I'll and barely, I don't look it, I'll but barely, you look like what I'm supposed to look I'll like. Ba- we got nominated for a streamy again two years in a row, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. That's the first time I've ever been nominated for anything, <laughs> yeah, even though it probably wasn't me. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, 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 collectively, we got nominated for three Maverick Team Maverick, Maverick Media. Uh, impulsive podcast of the year got what? nominated. I got nominated for first person. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? I, don't know. I thought it meant that the person holds the camera, but you don't do that. I don't do that. I don't. I don't know. Would you prefer that they reclassify your nomination or take your nomination away? Completely indifferent. Completely indifferent. Right, right. The one I care about, even probably more than the show, Hayden. Hayden. Hayden, Hayden my Hayden editor, got nominated for editing. Wow. We got we got likes. Oh, well deserved. I'm so I'm so happy for him. That one, that one, I'll, I'll put my foot down real hard and say he 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 really deserves oh to win God. that. He editors in general on YouTube aren't recognized enough, I think, and and they do a lot of work. It's a hard job. Oh, yeah. and, and Hayden specifically, man, he's put me through the ringer. I've put him through the ringer. Like whether it was the daily vlogging, the the music videos with the 24 hour turnaround time, the documentaries, three, four of them at this point. Um, the man is so versatile. Like the other editors in his in the category are very good. Oh my god, they're very Kate good. Casey's in there. They're very, but 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 Hayden's versatility versatility is second to none. Yep, yep. Like like the fact that he can go from yo a long form documentary to a short form little fluff four minute twenty second vlog to a music video um, to to like a, a comedy sketch. Like the man does it all. The man does it all at the highest level on the internet. And it's fantastic. So like I, I'm, I'm putting my eggs in that basket. I want him to win. Obviously, I want us to win too. Impulsive. It'll be cool if we won pockets of the year tw- twice in a Who row. Who does it go to? So the the funny thing I noticed immediately was that it was I'm pretty sure the same exact nominees as last year. It was close. Uh, oh, the only one that's missing is Tiny Meat Gang. They really. I'm gonna be honest with you. Actually, I'll put my foot down and say. We should probably win that podcast. One thousand percent have to win it. Yeah, you guys have me now. If you didn't, it, it, it would literally be my fault. No, we're just like we're really on it. Two podcasts a week, guest based, uh, viewership through the roof, versatility Listenership again. Through the versatility. Six, six nine Sud Guru Dave Port, Portnoy, like all in the past couple of months. Like, dude, who else is? Who, the question is simply put: Who else is doing it? Like, for some reason, they don't put Rogan on there. Which always that seems make so sense, weird because he kick our ass. Absolutely, you I'm yeah. actually happy he's not in the. Yeah, movie. for sure. Yeah, yeah. But I almost feel like they got it. They got to hand it the, to us. The, again. What if he's the, just so big that you're like, no, let's just give people a chance. Well, well, well this year it makes sense because he he's Spotify exclusive now, or, or or on the way to that, and so I, it makes sense this year. But last year, does it matter though? I, it, no, it doesn't. But it it feels like they're only nominating people that have a YouTube presence. Is that the case? I think that's the point of the streamies. It's like web-based, which is cool. It's cool but to be. But he still cool pulls huge he, numbers he, on He's, he's web-based. He's the yeah. biggest. But also, I think they're a little more apt to nominate people who will show up to the award show. I could bet <laughs> all my bottom dollars that Joe Rogan is not showing up to the streaming awards. Do you want to know, want to know why I noticed what you're saying is exactly true. Did do they have any UK or international? There's one international category, right? Well, they have in them the in whole. different countries. They have them in different countries. Oh, yeah, you can also send in a video. I'm talking about like mainstream celebrity type. Uh, the streamies are interesting, dude. Oh. Like, did you see? Did you see the nominees for Creator of the Year? I didn't see any of them. Like, I don't want to shit on anyone. I'm so Obviously, happy I'm even like, I'm even just gonna like watch what I say here. But if Mr. Beast does not win Creator of the Year, yo, I, I'm hurling my lifeless body off a balcony. I'm just going to say it. that that dude is on it. No one has made no one ever has made YouTube internet uh real life impact more than Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's a fact. his his business, his content, um his philanthropy. He like this kid's making a well, dent in the universe. But, but I also want to talk about who he's up against like quickly like David Dobrik and and his YouTube no offense, David Dobrik is potentially the best creator in the world, but I don't know if anybody noticed, he doesn't create content anymore, especially on YouTube. So why the fuck is he nominated against Mr. Beast? I, I, it's kind of like when you do a movie and you release it in January, but like all the way in December. Your movie. That, that's my question. Is this not, is this for 2019? No. Yeah, it's not. Sure. No, it has to be. I don't know I don't, when the cutoff was because also I'll give a little pushback here. 
uh, for the nominees for the best live stream. My Pokemon live stream wasn't on it. That affected me. I was a little hurt. I, don't think I it's thought best, it was a great live it's stream. It's probably going to be next year. I don't think it's best live stream event. I, is, is it? I think it's best live streamer. It, no, like, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Like li- there was like a live stream okay. event. Um, live special right there. Live special. See? Mr. Beast, $250,000 rock, paper, scissors. But no, Logan Paul loves Pokemans. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be interesting. Let's see how this one plays out. We wish uh, best of luck to all the creators and nominees nominated for the Streamy Award. Let's hope we win again. We got a great guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, you got this guest. Good for you, Georgie. I'm excited about this guest. Yeah, yeah. Immediate, my favorite one. Really? Yeah, Even though dude, it has not happened yet. I've watched his stuff over and over to watch how he moves, how he acts, how he delivers. Mm. I'm going to steal everything that he does <laughs> and then make so much money off of it. So thank you for that, Joe. Fantastic. This Filipino American is one of the biggest comedians in the world, selling out stadium after stadium from number one on the Billboard charts for stand up comedy to Jimmy Fallon's tonight show, The Late Late Show with James Corden, Jimmy Kimmel Live, and just about every other mainstream media outlet. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joe Court. Yes. Oh yes. Here we go. Ah. Here we go. Georgie loves you. I know, man. He loves you. And he gave me uh, the headphones. Yeah, yeah, of course. He sacrificed his headphones you for, know? for yours. Yep. That's that's love. It is. When he says fuck it, give it to the guest. But you're, I'll go rogue. You're a lover too. I'm a lover. You came in and hugged everyone. I, I try to shake your hand. You, you know, me. I was doing that. You know, I've done that my whole career. One, I'm just I'm creepy. Okay. So like when <laughs> sure. I like I'll leave uh, a public bathroom and yeah. not wash the hand. Yeah. And and I know that there's others that do that as well. Mike, I know you. Okay. Especially. <laughs> okay. And, and like I don't. How, first of all, if, how, I, how, if I know I'm creepy, I don't want to engage in creepy behavior. First of all, how dare you call me out the second? You Am sit I down. lying? <laughs> second of all, you're 100 right. Okay. So <laughs> you're, now, now, there, now, now there. let me. Now, I mean, it's not a fucking lie. We, it's just what we do. Wait, no, it's fucked Hold up. On, wait, when you hug me, you brush the back of my head like this. I don't. And, and that's fine because that's a towel. Can you? <laughs> That's a towel. That's where piss goes on a towel. But to give me your piss, no. and I just met you, yeah, yeah. man, go fuck yourself. Can we talk about this for a <laughs> yes, second? Yes, Mike. In, in the age By the way, of, you're very funny. Thank you. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm a, nothing compared to how funny you are. So hey, let's get hey, that Mike, out of the way. I know. <laughs> okay, thank you for it. Good. We're off yeah, to yeah, a yeah. good start. We're off to a good I know, start. Man. I know, I know. We're off to a good start. I know. I know. But at least you said yeah. I'm somewhat funny. Uh, no, you're, no, you're very funny. Okay. Can we can we focus on the piss thing for, Most one, definitely. for one second? Yes. In the age of COVID. Yes. Now, I ne- I was never big on washing the hands after I yeah. pee. But in the age of COVID, if you unzip your pants, yes. you, you barely kind of touch your, your penis, right? You yeah. pee in a stall, mm-hmm. and then you walk away. Do you think it's more sanitary to then touch the handle on the toilet, flush it? I never go, do. Go, I never and then, do. go and then turn the hot water faucet on, stick your hand and push the soap thing in that mm-hmm. 43 COVID Back of the knuckles. Pot. Back of the knuckles. Bro, it's a, but, back, but back even, of the knuckles. But even all that, of them. when, so, when mm-hmm. I shake your hand and I'm like... On the back. No, no, no. Yeah. I'll use my feet to get out of the back. I, I, I see you do that. I do too. So, and and Mike, I'm sorry to interrupt you because yeah, it was no, very good. poignant what you were saying. But like my, my son is proof that I've taught my son to flush the toilet with his foot because when he went to preschool <laughs> and they teach the kids how to pee yeah. and publicly, they, there's video of my son putting his foot on the on the on the floor. I got video evidence and the teacher got mad and I'm like, don't get mad at him. No, it's not. Sanitary. That's how you yeah. fucking flush a toilet, <laughs> yeah. especially little kids. They got shit on their fingertips, <laughs> not pee. Kids in the preschool have human shit on their fingertips. They don't give a fuck. They don't give, they don't a, give fuck. a fuck. Why do you think pink eye only exists pre-K to like mm? to sixth grade? We well, had maybe. a whole outbreak here no, in the didn't. house yeah. about a year ago. Now it was during a different time, pre-girlfriends. It was yeah. a very messy phase. Yeah. But we, <laughs> but we <laughs> had oh, that's that's girlfriends creepy. right here. I'm sorry. But we had, oh, but we shit. had a pink like, eye. I wasn't even butt. I wasn't yeah. even butt. We had a pink eye Mike, outbreak. What the fuck are you doing? I didn't bro. bring it in. She's right there, though. He was, he was the culprit. He I know, brought but it she's into here. <laughs> she and knows. Now you're saying there's an outbreak. No, of no, no. Pink it was eye. a year and a half ago. I know. What it? I'm saying is, she doesn't need to hear what she, was happening before she. I know got how here. I got it. I know oh. how I got it. How did I, you get it? My dog. Goes on my pillow, bro, and wipes his butthole on my I, pillow. Okay, you know what? And and I, I like you, Logan, but you can't keep blaming shit on the dog. <laughs> like the dog, the the Maverick, rest in peace. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but you can't that. keep blaming it on the fucking dog. Maybe it was your fucking fault. Um, the pink eye outbreak. Maybe not the dog. Yeah. Maybe it was someone else's shit on your pillow. Have you ever thought of that? I have, and it does concern me. It, it's a valid point, but it w- just makes no sense. 
He's the only one. No, that it makes complete sense. I, I don't well, think who's, whose ass is on my pillow? Well, how about you, you tell, tell us? I have no ass on my pillow. Well, that's Logan. a shame. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? <laughs> well, come on, man. I, I mean, I know she's here, but. Baby, I got no ass on my pillow. You got to believe No, no, no. Me. Not now. No more ass. No, even Look back then. No ass on my pillows he has, bro. I, Fuck I'm this. big on pillows, oh Joe. God. Look around. Yeah, I got, you do have I a got lot so pillows. many pillows. We are off By the way, I made a pillow. We're off to a shitty start. Do we? Nice. Or is that a pun? Yeah, Are you a doing pun, a fucking yeah. horrible pun? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm a master. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on with a pun book, Mike. Bro, kids don't give a fuck. Kids, kids I see don't give I a see fuck. kids in airports yes. crawling around on the oh, floor, right? It's bad. And 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 I'm a I'm not a germaphobe. I know you are. Oh, but yeah. these kids will be crawling around on the floor and then like licking their hands. Oh yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And and, and in, yeah. in the age of COVID though, you're still just hugging hug, no no hands wash, I, hugging I mean, around everyone. It's just uh I'm, I'm probably going to get a lot of heat for this, oh, but boy. am speak, I? Speak up, yeah, speak up. Yeah, for sure. Oh, then let's just edit this. <laughs> oh, we'll take it out completely. <laughs> no, <Yeah>. I, <laughs> I just, I don't know, man. I uh, No, I mean, it's tricky. because It is you, tricky. You could, you could I, I have been tested. You know, I just shot a, another show for Netflix, and, and literally it's COVID test every three days. Yeah. So, And I just wrapped. So uh, the only one I'm really scared of, about in here is Mike. And, and that's about it. <laughs> it makes sense. But, it but makes other sense. than that, I'm pretty sure you don't have COVID. No, no. Look at his hair. He, he did. Yeah, his he hair did. is always nice. I, I, did ha I did have it, though. I did. <laughs> did. Have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, honestly. Why didn't you say that before I went in? Well, you grabbed me and licked nope. my ear. And that's pulled that's my impossible head. to do. Wiped I was sitting pants. down inside the car to physically grab you. Pulled you pulled me into the you car. You leaned in. Like a fast food worker. You got your ass, you got your ass beat as you're much like as... Mr. Coy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Coy, you're like your size. Would you like, any sauce, with, you like any sauce with that, Mr. Coy? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Coy. <laughs> nice car. Yo, he yo he dem he came in here. He goes, yo, we got a bit of a problem. He's driving a nice car. I was like, okay. And he goes, well, he's not going to park on the street. Can we open the gate for him? And he made us open the gate for you oh, to park well, your car. That's I love you, man. Come no, on, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he really likes and respects Aww, you. Aw, that's... I love you, man. No, see, I... Like... Yeah, yeah. I appreciate <laughs> it. Wait, wait, wait. No, why why did you... Re you Didn't you reach yeah. out to him? No. No. I didn't. No, I reached out to him. <laughs> yeah. And then, hey, man. But why'd you I'm respond? I'm successful. But why... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Logan? That doesn't mean you can't. What the fuck? Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> we're in the garage of your house, and you're calling it a studio. If, if you, you don't say that, no one will know. If you, uh, the, I swear to God, the, uh, the angles This is at Universal yeah, 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 yeah. Lot. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? There's double Universal. security. You're acting like there's armed guards, Whoa. Logan. It's a fucking button, bro. I, I, <laughs> there's a button that's attached to your fucking it's, visor. And guess what? The oh, hey, man, can I get the keys to your car so I can open this? The part? button doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to manually open the gate, There's people in their boxers shorts running the cameras bro, i've never <laughs> stop i've never <laughs> seen Fucking anybody stop logan yo he's shitting on both of you guys oh, i'm gonna get pink guy again you. at this point <laughs> Georgie, it's coming that, for you hey, that was a good oh. fun that was a good pun. thank you so I much i love so, you man uh, you brought fantastic. it back that was fantastic. a fantastic yeah you brought that back but uh it, well, there's nothing wrong with acknowledging up and coming uh young creators with potential but i mean i was mistaken so why did you respond though because you're right you are successful oh no why, you know this man listen, the time of day man, I'm, I'm doing this right now uh as fun but you guys are very talented i right the minute i came in here mike i said you were very funny george i think you're funny you you're you know, you were talking about, uh, you know, the the award that streaming. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, but uh, <laughs> no, because I don't know that world. I'm old. You know what I mean? Like when you were talking about kids walking around the airport touching shit, I'm like, hey, I'm a dad, you motherfucker. I know it. I know what you're talking yeah, you about. But like, I don't understand your world, but mm. I know you've crushed it, mm. and I, and I respect that. Thank like you. what you guys have done is uh, amazing. I, I was thinking about this the other day. It's like, um, that's where we're at now. You guys are you were ahead of the pack. And, and not only are you guys ahead, but you, you understood the business, mm. it, which is crazy because now you see these other cats that are these kids that are coming up and I don't think they understand the business. You're spot Some. on. You're spot they're, on. They're, they're running with something that you guys laid down sure. like a batch and, and you know, Amanda yep. and yourself yep. and, and you guys laid it down so hard and you were responsible with that. You're responsible. I want to make sure I'm saying that clearly. You were very responsible with that. And I don't think they understand that. You know, there's a lot of pa uh, kids out there that go, oh, yeah, Logan just grabs a camera and it's fucking hit. No. We just <laughs> talked about if, if you turn these cameras around and see the responsibility that these guys have, then it's, it's, it's more than that. Mm. It's a business, bro. Mm. You know? And you guys are fucking good. I, I, appre I, told, I tell Batch this all the time, man. I, I, I learn. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm 50, but I learn. I watch and I learn. And, and, and that's, that's, that's the one thing a lot of people fail to do in Hollywood is respect the come up. Like you can hate anybody you want, 
but respect what they did. Respect and and, and uh, pos- respect possibly, possibly, and learn. possibly I'm reset. Sorry to interrupt, reset. But yeah, yeah reset learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But learn. Sure, sure. P- people are so quick to hate. You know what I mean? Instead of just fucking learning. Like, yeah. yo, fuck Logan. He got all that shit. Like, he got a studio. He got all them. But bi- yeah, he got it. But where was he? What ten years ago? Yeah. When, when it, I don't know when it was, but where were you before that? Cleveland. And then res- and then respect <laughs> what it took to get here. Mm. Don't go here and just start hating on it. Well, respect I, I, that fucking hustle and grunt. I appreciate that on behalf yeah. of on behalf of all the like new age media kids. Like we we really appreciate that, and and also vice versa. Uh, I know he like he studies you. I I try, mm-hmm. but I'm not a stand up comedian. Like both these guys have the potential. Yeah, you're a boxer, uh, sort of. I'm no, not- I was that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. Come on. Stop it. What the fuck? Logan, you know the difference between a a compliment and a, a joke? Wait, hold on. Joke. I like, I like, I said sort like, hey, I by, by the way, I bought, by the way, I bought your last pay-per-view fight. All right, so shut the fuck know. up, Joe. No, no, You're no. still watching the fights. No, no, I, I, yeah, I watch it. It's entertaining. You are fucking, you are, you, no, you look good. You fucking look good. You're, you're lying now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I will put money on the next fight. Who are you fighting? No, you won't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't put money on the next fight. No, 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 no. You're not listening. You're not You'll listening. You're not listening. You're not listening, George. You're not listening. Hold on. I'm he, far ahead of you guys. I'm three steps ahead. Right, right. That was the joke. He said, I'm I was fight. setting you up. I was wanting him to say who. And then I go, I'm not going to put oh. money on the fight. But you guys fucked up. You walked on the joke. There's four jokes ahead. Yeah, I'm four jokes. It's a chess move, bro. It's like improv. He set us up for the, but we're fucking. It's, it's a okay. tough, it's a tough you, fight to talk. About. It's, I'm, this is a dojo. Okay. Okay. okay, and 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 the master has lost. No, 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 seriously, seriously. No, I'm joking. But no, but how have you gotten so good? Is it just experience? I always ask comedians this: Are you naturally funny? Where, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, you are too. Not as not now. Nah, I mean, I'm like no, nah, no. Okay, stop that. You're you're baiting. You you are good. You I'm, know that. I'm not. I, you're I'm baiting. Not, you're baiting. You, I'm not. You know ba- I'm not baiting. I, I'm. I'm. Um, Logan, you're fucking funny. No, you're I'm, I'm. He's the funny. master. Of uh-uh. and, and, I'm moderately moderately <laughs> comedic. I'm not. I don't think people would go, oh, that kid's funny. My content's funny. Does that make sense? I can. Yeah, I but can, you got to be funny to do I it, can, dude. I still I remember the, the. I remember the the shit you did on. Uh, <laughs> oh no. What was it called? Uh, the Vine. One, yeah, Vine. When you used to do those, I was like, God damn, this dude's good. It would make me so mad because I'm like, like you only had how many seconds was that? Nine, six, six and, six, and, a half. Seconds. and you had six and a half to come up with a, like this this premise and also hit the joke hard. And I'm just like. I don't get it. I, I was trying so hard. I just boot myself off. I was like, I'm done. Because I'm, I, I'm old. No, no, there's a difference. I'm old. I'm old. I can conceptualize funny. Does yeah. this make sense? I can like come up with a funny bit mm-hmm. and like act it out and, uh, yeah, and sometimes make through. a good joke. But y- y- y'all are like real life funny. Like he's if, a storyteller. Yeah, he's a story, he's so am I. I'm a storyteller. Right, right, right. But you're but you're fucking funny, dude. Like growing up, no, no one, none of my like parents, friends would say I'm like funny. Yeah, and that's why I don't really like your parents' friends. Okay. You know what I mean? And you shouldn't either. (laughs) Don't buy them gifts. You're rich now. Don't buy them gifts. And if they say something, go, where the fuck were you when I wanted people to say I was funny? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When they go, hey, Logan, like, (laughs) can my daughter, no. My daughter can't get an autograph. No, fuck you. Where was I, where were you when I was doing the splits being funny out front? Yeah. And you you guys never said anything. Encouraging. It weren't. Is your circle smaller now? Mm, it's always been small. Yeah, so is mine. Almost. Mine, mine is really, really small. Like uh, less than ten. It's okay. less than ten. Good. Yeah, Can and and of and yeah, of course, George. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, right. But no, but it, you get you get to that point, right? Sure. Where you just it, you you're. It, I hate to say it, but trust is gone. Um, no new friends. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's so hard because yeah. you you you'll pick up on on subtleties. Is that right? Where yeah, you can yeah. hear it under there, there's there's this language, and then you hear something underneath sure. it, and you're like, mm. and I don't know if that's me being a little too uh, paranoid. Paranoid. Yeah, yeah. Without no. smoking weed. Yeah. But I, I I I'm like there's that. There's a lot of people. I'm on, dude. It's hard for me to date. It's hard for me to. Are you single? Yeah. And it's, it's hard. It's just hard for me. Do you I'm, want to date? It's crazy to. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm in a really good place right now. And it took me, you know, it took me 30 years. I started in 89. So there's, it'll be 31 uh, real soon. And, and, you know, my son is my priority. So yeah. it's like there's, there's this order. You know what I mean? There's my son, my son's mom, and then family, you know. And I'm not married to my son's mom, but like, I, like that's, 
that's just the responsibility. If like, you, I want my son to be happy, and the only way you can do that is make his mommy happy, right? Yeah, like, but you uh, talking about his dick in front of millions of people is probably not yeah. making him the happy. Yeah, maybe it does. Go, go say that again. <laughs> but you talking about his dick in front of millions yeah. of people, he's not. He's probably not the happiest. Yeah, happy George and, is and, drunk. And, and, and I think, I think, okay, so what do you want to be truthful on stage or do you want to or do you want to like because it's one thing to embellish on everything but it's you know that's what we do as comics but i also want to tell my truth right yeah, yeah. so and, and when i when i tell my truth i like i don't want to hold back on my son but i also want to make sure that my son knows that i did it as well like that joke i, yeah. I wrote that joke when he was just becoming 12 so it was really sensitive yeah. and i noticed when i brought him to the clubs he wasn't laughing when I was doing it. You know what I mean? Because he was innocent when he came out of the pool and said, Dad, like, don't you hate it when the pubic hair wraps around? And, and I was like, what, you got pubic hairs? Like, I didn't know. Right. That's how I learned about the whole. <laughs> it tickled his butt. Yeah, it tickled, it tickled my butt. And I'm like, <laughs> and I, as a dad, I was like, oh, shit, he's becoming a man. But, yeah. And I was doing that on stage and he was not having it because that was a private conversation. He still didn't know what dad did. You, you did. didn't tell him? No, wait, no. So, you're, you, so you're actively <laughs> exploiting your life. Yes. Welcome to the club. Yes. That's all we do. It's yeah, horrible. That's what it's, we do. It's, and it's, who yeah. doesn't though, right? You, but but, but I will say truth. this. I will say this on Coming In Hot is when I did that joke. And uh, well, I did the other version of that joke. And then uh, I, I wasn't going to do it unless he said I was going to do it. And I didn't ask him. Mm. Like I, I literally was going to go in and close with a different joke. And uh, and he walked up to me and he goes, Dad, are you going to do that joke about? And, I, and you know, you know what it is. And then I go, yes. Uh, I, no, I didn't say yes. I go, I don't know. Should I? And then he goes, Dad is going to crush. And, and then I was like, thank oh, you. Oh, oh, and I, and you I hugged him. Oh, 100. Joke. And I hugged him and I was like, thank you so much. But I made sure to like write it in a way where I'm bashing myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, also, I go in on myself and there's no way for him to get mad at it because it's like, well, shit, if my dad can hang himself like that. Yeah, that self-deprecating humor yeah. is, like a, is like an armor. It's yeah. Like a, a but initially, Mike, Mike, when I first did that joke, it was <clears throat> all about him and like a good night. Right. Like, fuck my son. Good night. Right, right, <laughs> you know right. what I mean? And, and I felt bad, you know, like I didn't understand because I was just being funny, but I didn't realize how it, it, it was kind of like not going in good with him. Do you get scared? No. Of any of cancel culture of people coming after you have you have you I, edited your routines at all or your I, commentary based on the current climate i think that i i've just been blessed with the decision that i made a long time ago but i was always a fan of storytelling so like you know if you ever look go way back and look at interviews i've always said you know i love dennis wolfberg i love you know old bill cosby stuff oh, i yeah. love all you know eddie murphy Carlin. you know when he talks about yeah. the storytellers the right, ones that right. talk about you know their mom and dad and kid i've always i was always into that and that's always been my style mm. so you know i thank god i haven't been a part of the the what is it the the topics the topical you know what i mean yeah. like i'm not i'm not looking at the news and going hey you see what happened today like, i don't, I don't want to get yeah, in because it's tough for it's tough for people to tell you that you can't talk about your about shit that's happened to you directly. to me it's you my life 100 yeah and, that's and, great that's and not great... only that man like i always say this i don't know if i told you george but like Comedy is subjective, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 just like music, you know? There's rap, there's country, there's 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 electro, I don't know. There's just whatever genre that and you can like each one, right? Yeah, yeah. But but you don't you don't have the responsibility to do each one. Mm. You don't go, hey man, why isn't a uh, little baby doing country music? He's a rapper, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Yeah. And, and you shouldn't ask me the same question. Why isn't Joe doing political jokes? Because I tell stories. stories. Uh, are you? Are that's you my genre and that's my lane. Are you worried about uh, what's been happening to comedy as a as a whole, as opposed to what's happening to you? I mean, Are you worried we, about the we, direction? You got to remember, like when I was a kid, it was, you know, look at it, it's, open. It's open, oh, oh, and, open. and comedy was still kind of new too. Yeah, yeah. And um and yeah, and the words weren't you know were used loosely. We came up in a different generation, by the way. You know what I mean? And uh, so, yeah, it's just, that's the times we live in. So you got to respect the times we live in. You know what I mean? You have to. You have to. Yeah. It's just, yeah. that's. I if was, you don't. If you, I don't there's know, some, man. Because you know how there's some people out there who won't, who, who's a couple, there's a couple examples of people who won't be changed. Yeah. They, what's they, that? They, what's, they, what's the word? Chappelle. 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 Yeah, Chappelle, but I love Chappelle. Yeah, Amazing. of course. Bill Sticks and, Stone, Sticks and prophet, Stones man. was an incredible stand-up. Yeah, he's yeah. a prophet. Yeah, he, he is, is a prophet. Is, is. Like, okay, he I was is. at I was at Chappelle's house, 
uh, in Ohio, right? And um, by the way, the way he's doing that, gangster, right? I gangster got, I got shit. An, I got, I'm Flies Ohio, everyone so. in on private jets. <sighs> you know what I mean? He, he pays for everything, and then you perform in a cornfield. You know what I mean? And it's like crazy. You know, my night was uh, Tiffany Haddish. By the way, me and Tiffany go way back. Mm. She used to watch my son at the Laugh Factory. You know what I mean? When, when I would go on stage, she would watch him upstairs because he was only like one. Wow. And, then, and then we would switch and she'd go on stage. So like we go way back. Cool. And, and just, you know, us flying out there together and then going on stage. Ali Wong was mm. there. Uh, Michelle Wolf, Mo Ammer. And then, of course, Dave won three Emmys that night. So we're all watching the Emmys. In his, his yeah, in his man cave. And then I had a commercial on the Emmys, and then Tiffany had a commercial, and he was winning. And and I remember Dave like, man, you, all these motherfuckers in here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is wow. That's cool. Uh, but, but, but what, anyways, what I was getting at is uh, the guy is a prophet, dude. Like, what he talks about and, and how he's not scared to say what's on his mind, mm. and which he's told me way back when I first started opening for him. He was like, don't ever be scared to say how you feel, mm. right? Like, don't don't let someone change that. If you, that's how you feel, and and you think you can make it funny, then say it, right? And um, but what he's doing in in Ohio is crazy, dude. Like I told him, like yo, they build, they should build a statue a statue of you because he's saving that town. His Wait, dad is it, buried in that town, by the way. It's it, what, what town Yellow is it? Springs, Yellow Ohio, Springs. Is, uh, and it's literally like Woodstock, suburb are, or rural. No, it's, bro, you ever drive through a town and you go through it in two minutes and go, who the fuck lives there? It's Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dave. Uh, it's part of Dayton, Dayton what, Metropolitan. What is it? What's his setup? Is it a uh, big house? He bought. Big pool? I think he. I don't know if I should say what he bought, but it, yeah, he's got a, a historical house, wow. and then and it, and it's very historic. It's like a hundred and I don't know. I think it was like eighteen forty six. I'll make up a number, but it's right sure. around there. That, that's his house. <laughs> sure. And uh. And yeah, I'm like, yo, people used to sit on the porch and watch a war happen. Like, that's the kind of porch it is. Oh, damn. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, shit, yeah. we're winning. And um, <laughs> and then, yo, he's got a man cave like this. You know what I mean? And that's where we all watched uh, that la- the, the Emmys. La- the last special that he did was Six that. Six Stones? Right. No, not, not Six, 846, yes. which was had a Amazing. lot of racial you know themed to yeah. it right was it was it post right after george floyd it's right remember. after yeah it's right after and was it was that, amazing was that filmed at his house filmed at his house with social distancing going All on that, in the yeah. audience it, mm-hmm. it, that was a another... by the way he does covid tests for everyone too it's there's a covid <laughs> testing you want to know what i did logan <laughs> you want to know what the fuck i did george so i land <laughs> and then we get covid tested right all that we got a bubble all the inter, uh, all the performers are, are already tested so we're all good right uh and then I get on stage, right? And this is, by, by the way, this thing is so successful. It's been going on for months. It's been going on since, I don't know, uh, April. I don't mm. know when it's been going on, but it's been going on forever. And then finally I get there, right? They, they got this working machine happening, yep. right? Yep. Safety for everybody and blah, blah, blah. I go on stage and I go, yo, it's been seven months since I've been on stage, man. I'm just happy performing in front of someone like you, sir. And I go, is everyone COVID tested? And, you know, people are like raise their hands and shit. And then I go, I just want to hug someone. I haven't hugged someone in a long time, sir. Can I hug you? And I hugged him. Everyone in the green room was like, what the fuck is Joe <laughs> Boy doing, man? He broke our bubble. And I had no idea. I'm just performing. Yeah. And then I go backstage and I'm like, I killed, right? I fucking crush. And I go backstage. No one wants to talk to me. Like, you broke the fucking bubble. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why the fuck did you hug him? I go, I thought everyone was COVID tested. No, us, motherfucker. We're COVID tested. Not them. We don't know. That's why they're sitting apart. Oh. I was like, oh, shit. So they had to grab that guy. They took him to the back. They, they tested him. Oh, poor Guy. But you know how f- well, fuck him. I was like, how about me? For like what? ten minutes, everyone's like staying away. From You're the me. one that did it. I know, but everyone, like everyone, like everyone's just like, yo, what the fuck did you do? Dude? You're I'm a like, leper. I didn't know. And then, and then they, we, for like ten minutes, I'm just sweating. You know when you get sweat from the back of yeah. your neck? Yeah. Like I fucked this one no, up. No, this new normal I'm about sucks. To shoot da- I'm about to shoot down something that he's been working on for seven months. And then, uh, and then finally he got the test back and it was negative. Good. And I was like, ah. Oh. And I was just like, I knew he didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, looked at his eyes. I knew he didn't have it. It was the table over to the right. They had it for sure, but not this guy. No, and bro. Like, this, this, I'm telling you, this new normal sucks. Yeah, it sucks. It, we'll, we'll yeah, like it I was, actually, I was stunned by our hug. It made me, it made me feel. Uh, it affected me. Oh, really? Joe, yeah, in a good way. Because I'm, I'm the handshake guy. Yeah, that's the gross. handshake. What? What? That's gross. I, Sweaty. Stop shaking hands, yeah. man. Well, in the poop. You you tell me gross. you'll get right here with someone face to face. I'd rather hug, hug, yeah. Embrace, yes, and not a handshake. Yes. I'll wash my Can hands. Can I tell you after. why? Sure. Okay. And and don't take don't be offended by this. 
Okay, yeah, that's that's a great. I, start. I don't love that. The is way a great it. start. Yeah, yeah, no, don't get go. offended by this, Logan. I'm just telling you why I I am. Okay. 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 When I say I get like a scab on my arm, I'm gonna pick at it all day. Like this one? Yeah. And then I'll shake someone's hand without even knowing. Okay. That's gross. Yeah, that is gross. Uh, yeah, but I also and think, I'm not calling you out, but I'm just no, saying. no, I get it, but, but I, you get I think, it. Have no, you, no, no, that's and you're the point of a handshake. And you're right-handed, yeah. by the way, and I'm, I could just see you kind of like. Because I do it, I right? If you nuts. Gonna, hey, if you, gonna, and you scratch your nuts. Boys, you that's the nuts. point of a handshake. No, that's the, just, no, so no, no, wanna, no. The grit of being a human and the trust that you have within ooh, the person like you're shaking that. hands with yeah, like is that. like, yo, I'm, I'm willing to do this with you. I like Regardless that. of whether or not you have a scab on I your fingernails. You had this that. zit on your neck yeah, I, I for a it. week. And you're just I, picking yeah, at it. Is it still there? I've been picking at it. It's still... Oh, I see it. And yeah, then you would pick at that and then shake Logan Paul's hand. That's a tricky spot. That's where you're wrong, Mike. I would hug. And wipe it on his back. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Safe. That's Which not, is I cleaner. That's it's a nice shirt. You. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> you, you, <laughs> Logan, it's your how, fucking show. How, okay. I'll be ask impulsive. you a question. I'll ask be you a question. Wow. How do you like that? Part? How many, uh, how many, like vegan, that one? How many <laughs> vegans you dealing no, with? No one's going to. I like it. No one? Which, which one's my camera? <laughs> this, this one? This, right here. this one facing Mike? <laughs> <laughs> how many vegans you dealing with? Uh, how with, many what? You dealing with a lot of vegans? I, you come across a lot of vegans? I, okay, so my ex-wife is a huge vegan now. And it's like every time I try and eat meat, I can't, I can't give up bacon. But I've given up steaks. Okay. That's done. Good. Uh, hamburger's still my crutch, but I'll have it maybe once every yeah, two months. Yeah. Uh, chicken's done. Chicken's gross. No chicken. I try. Uh, yesterday, I got uh, gumbo, and I took all the chicken out. I couldn't do it. Why? But I ate the shitty sausage. Yeah, that why? didn't make That's sense because it had flavor. That, yeah. Why no chicken? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just creeped out by meat right now. It's just like when I look at a chicken, I just, you, I don't know. You want to know what happened? You've been in L.A. too long. You, you, you sharpened your sword in Vegas, right? Yeah. You think they're giving up steak and chicken in Vegas? Those, those I used cigar to eat, smoking? I used to eat, I used to eat uh, $1.99 steaks pretty much every go, day at go, midnight. Go back. Stop, stop. Don't do that, yeah. I still drink dairy milk. Mike. I wash it down with chicken. Mike. I don't give a fuck. Mike. I just, wash Mike, it down Mike, I don't give chicken. a fuck, dude. Mike, Mike. You listen can't to me. change it. Listen me. to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Mike. I know. I know yeah. you do. Just by looking at but, you, but, I know. But, but listen, I, but I listen, I, but tell, listen, you stop, I can tell you stop you dairy milk drinking, yeah, motherfucker. You stopped eating chicken. Now you got no hair, yeah. Joe Coy. Yeah, so it didn't, well, I'm oh, just, oh, he went, no, oh, listen, oh, and I'm losing my, God, listen, God, I'm losing oh, my, oh, well, that's why I say it. And I'm losing mine too, but but I'm keeping some of it because of the chicken. Joe, I'm telling you, you fucked up. Man, it's hard though. Here's the thing. How old are you? You're very young. 50. No, no. 35. I didn't say how old do you look. I said how old are you? I will, I'll I'm 50 I'll and barely, I don't look it I'll But barely, you look like what I'm supposed to look like I'll barely like. laugh at that joke I'll barely laugh at that yeah. joke Because you know I look 26 still You motherfucker <laughs> I don't know I get ID'd still <laughs> with Do the, you? Yeah with the um, <laughs> Who, who is that? The baseball I gotta beat that bouncer <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that uh, bouncer? Give me is 30. he in here? <laughs> give me 30 Is that bouncer in here? Give me 30 give No me 30. one has <laughs> ever carted you <laughs> Even when you were 15, nah, they're they like, used hey. to let me in at 15. Even at 15, if you went to a strip bar, they're like, yes, sir. Listen, come inside. <laughs> listen, Joe, you do, sir, we have you a do whole thing of bourbon for you. <laughs> you do heroin for 10 years and you look like this. It's a blessing, bro. All right, trust me. You I did, did heroin? I did. All right, let's oh, not stop. Of so of much, stop, so stop. much. We're not yeah. getting into it. Talk well, to very, me. About, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Let's yes. talk about the chicken. <laughs> Why? I just, I can't eat meat like I used to, You feel for the chicken. No, I just, it doesn't. Dude, I'm 50. I'm 49, to but, be honest. But, but chicken's a clean meat. It's different when you're 49. Like, right. you you can still do this fucking splits. I can't touch my ankles. Could you ever <laughs> touch your ankles? Yes, when I was your age. It's different right now. Can you still see your ankles? Yes. Dude, when I get up, there's a joke I do on stage. <laughs> you're funny. I should have gave that a little bit more love. I'm sorry. Say it again. We'll act like no, it. No, no, Danny, Danny, edit this. Mark this and we'll edit. Go ahead. Say it and I'll act like it. Can you, can you still see your ankles? Uh, I didn't get it. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still, even on the second time. Um, <laughs> I, uh, God dang no, uh, it. What was I saying? <laughs> um, no, um, I, I say this joke, but it, it, it's a... Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm just gonna say it because because uh, we're talking about it. But I literally, when I get up to go to the bathroom right now at night, it sounds like I'm having sex. Like you don't do that. You don't grunt and groan when you walk to the bathroom. Uh, do you? Like this. Uh, uh, yeah. When you walk to the bathroom, uh, you're verbally. Uh, I I literally do that <laughs> to the point where my son and my ex and all of everyone is like, dude, like stretch or something. Like, <laughs> Why is everybody in the same room as you when you get? Because we all we all sit in the garage, kind of like the show. 
Everyone's like, dude, we're trying to sleep. Get the fuck out of my master bedroom. Everyone, I got a, I got a cow king. And there's like nine bodies on it. Hey, you know what? I, you it's know like what? Willy Wonka. You remember when they all slept on the same bed? I don't make noise when I, I you know, I'm young and somewhat spry. I'm getting yeah. older. I'm breaking a little bit easier. I yeah. noticed, but uh, you know what I do? Uh, if I wake up in the middle of the night, like two, three a.m. to go pee, yeah, I'll try to stay asleep. Does this make That's, sense? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. So I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll open my eyes as little as possible yep. and go to the bathroom and turn the light on on the lowest setting, of course. Yeah, and um. Hope I make it in the toilet, obviously, because yeah. I can't see anything. But yeah. I'm almost like pretending I'm sleepwalking. Yeah. That's the closest you'll get. I'll, I'll get to uh, I'm having trouble at night. Yeah. I'm pretty good th- thus far. You but know? you I'm don't not, grunt and groan when you're walking. Nothing yet. Not okay. tripping over things. It's like I, suffering for you. Like when you walk it's to the... It's suffering. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I can I'm relate literally to locked up. I'm yeah. Gonna, I play gonna, basketball with my son. I'm locked up the next damn. day. I'm going to admit shit that I'm probably going to get made fun of, but I <laughs> will not. Yeah. In no circumstance stand up and pee in my own house. What well, did you just say? Yeah, I won't do we it. We talked about this. It's too, it's too messy. I'm too much of an OCD freak. Like, I, I know it's going to Wait, splash. you're really OCD? Like yeah, that? Yeah. In, in Logan's house, I'll, I'll pee from far to see my range. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Ground, I'm sorry. What did you just say? What did you just say? <laughs> he says that so, he sits and pees. <laughs> yeah, no. I, right now, what I just said? Yeah. No, when before, I'm at your house, I try to test my range. No, 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 no. no before that, George. Oh, you will pee in someone else's house because yeah, it's course. not your house. I don't give a like, fuck. fuck. I'll like, close house. my eyes. And, at and your spray. house, you sit down and pee? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Always. Not even just at night. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm like super in a rush, then yeah, like whip that shit out. But like. Yeah, I, I, it's a mess. I don't like it. What do you, it, what why don't you, you just try to aim for the think, toilet? And no, he you says that it's, it's a sprayer. It's a splash zone. Yeah. He yeah. pees, he pees as the ground than you. Is there... No, no, no. So Mike, there should uh, be less splash. No, Mike, is, there, is there a... Is there a, is there a Mike, 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 let me explain yes, to you because I'm is understanding it. and you're not. Okay. It's like when he pees, when he pees... It's kind of like when he uh, when you grab the garden hose and put your thumb oh over the yes. hole. <laughs> That's how he pees. <laughs> it, it's just fucking everywhere. Yeah, that sounds like it's a medical. Dude, he doesn't have a, a medical he condition. He got a problem. Yeah. That's a prostate uh, problem. A are you? And I'm not trying to be creepy, but are you? Are you circumcised or? Uh, I am circumcised. You yeah. are okay because that doesn't sound right. Yeah, usually because yeah, yeah. it like when the the turtleneck is up, yeah. then it's a spray. The only yeah. time the spray usually happens is if, if it's just post cum. Like you know how right after you have sex, splits you're into like, two, oh, splits into two, bro, yeah. yes. Splits oh, into two. Yes. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's kind of like a that no, 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 that's that's cobra. Yeah, that like happens. a spitting cobra. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only a smaller version. Of it's the all, spitting no, cobra. for me, it's almost formulaic. Like every time, I can pretty much count on. I'll hit uh, about three o'clock and nine. Yeah. On the toilet. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. If there were two targets on the side of the toilet, you would hit them. I have a solve for that. Yeah. After I come, I usually just pee in the shower. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's good. good. It's, a good it's guaranteed Have to go somewhere pissed? safe. Yeah, yeah. I had to show. I had to show. I had to show Josie this the other day. We're getting a little too close. I think it's good. No, that's but, good. Uh, it's it, but it's it's getting weird. Uh, after sex, uh, <laughs> you boys, you still got you're still hard. And for me, you know, I'm still. I'm, I'm upright, bro. Yeah. I'm full, full on yeah. Elon Musk, uh, tw- 20, 25 year old speaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and yeah. so and so I'm like, I'm like, sometimes I have to pee. <laughs> what right? my dick lays on my stomach <laughs> afterwards, Mike? What are you getting at? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Mine's just as hard. Yeah, <laughs> mine's just as hard. You can do a podcast with my dick. You can just put a mic on the top of it when I'm done. What are you talking about? <laughs> listen, listen. So, so you know when you're, you're still, just you're still upright. <laughs> I'm so done. It goes to sleep. My, I'm done. <laughs> I'm it's talking a, about when I was a little bit of vomit, a <laughs> little bit of vomit, <laughs> just dripping just a dr- down. Your drunk friend on That's your pillow. Not Someone's gonna get pink eye. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Logan. Uh, I'm with you. I so understand. You're stiff. Fuck you're you, Mike. Can't, can't no, I understand. You can't monetize. We can monetize it. it. We can. <laughs> your dick is hard. Go on. Yeah. Man. No. So uh, you can't pee in the toilet. Yeah. They made they, they did a movie about this. I think. Uh, oh, remember, I see what you're saying. Remember they laid down flat on the toilet. Superman. It's Zac Superman. Efron was in it. Superman. Yeah, that's what it's called. When you wake up with morning with yeah. Superman over the toilet. You no, know, no, 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 he's talking about a movie. Uh, yeah, but regardless, that process is difficult for men. Like, you have to pee, but you can't pee in the toilet because unless you have some superior ability to arch and aim your urine, no, which I've done before. But listen, yeah. y'all don't know this. Who lives here? You live here. You yeah. live here. All right, fantastic. I thought everyone did. Almost. Yeah. We, almost. Did. we all sleep what in the, the same bed. Bro, listen, listen, I thought everyone I opened, did because there's 15 cars out front. <laughs> I open. No, that's a construction. Oh, okay. <laughs> I open a window. Yeah. On the side, and I kind of just like lean out. No, you didn't. I, yeah. You peed out the window. Yeah. You're judging me for sitting down. Hold and on peeing? a second. It's not like. <laughs> That's why a, is, that's that, why is that wrong? Point, why is that wrong? I'm peeing out my own window in my house mm-hmm. at, at midnight. What if Maria, the you maid, is outside power bathrooms. washing the windows? Yeah. And you no, piss on Maria's I pee out the window, yeah. and it's, and it's yeah. on some far side of the house. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fun. It's inaccessible. No one's gonna get in that spot. You're yeah. Josie, your Josie. Bathroom window. Goes this is the this is this is rich. No. This is rich people shit. Everybody that's yeah. not rich that has a bathroom small enough. Obviously, when you're in this situation, you put your hands on the back of the toilet, yes. your feet on the sink yes. at, behind you, and you Superman over the toilet, yes. and you piss straight down. There it is. Like you're drilling for oil, oil. straight into the toilet. When and, you and get rich, guys, you piss out your you window. Piss out the no, window. everything changes. Yeah. Your piss brother out your fucking yep. window. I was having a full-blown conversation with Jake in his beautiful house. I think I counted, and, and uh, fact check me, but I counted. There was 862 bathrooms in there. More than that. More than that. Way more than that. 62 yeah. bathrooms. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. He lives yeah, in the so Versace. He's sitting there actually. looking yeah. at me and he goes, I have to piss, which I didn't need to know, but he fucking walked out of his, his patio, stood on top of this thing, and pissed off, like just... His balcony. Hey, hey, my Wait, guy. is my this guy. you or it's my his brother? brother. Your pretty, brother does but, it too. It's pretty much me. Oh, so it's a Paul thing. Yes, it's the Pauls that do it, this. GP taught them this. 100%. I can't be. I, I, it's the Pauls. Uh, comment below. I feel like this might be a Midwest thing. Like uh, pissing yes. out your window. It might, it yeah, might, you uh, have yeah. just, just deteriorated it, no. your entire no. region. Yeah. <laughs> this is some <laughs> people who piss out. No, no, I'm talking about. I'm talking about peeing off peeing from high elevated places. Just, just peeing. Pretty much fucking Everybody wherever. Everybody pees, Logan, but they okay. choose to do no, it in the bathroom. No, bro. My girlfriend's nature peed more than I have. Okay. Well, every, girls, every, every girls. She squatted and it looked like she was shitting at the haunted house. She that was well, that's shitting. how girls oh, pee, That's how girls pee. George, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's how women oh, pee. You're acting like that's the first time. That yeah, well, you should know that's how women pee. He's like, they she squat was squatting pee. like she's pooping. I squat too. He yeah, sits that's too. True. He does. I, I'm not going to let you live that down. I think you've told me this once no, before. No, no, no. I said it on the show. I said that I sit at night when I pee sometimes because, because I'm in sleep. Because oh. I'm in sleepy mode oh. or because my knees hurt. Like like he said, <laughs> but, he squints his way into the bathroom. Uh-huh. I don't take the chance of pissing all Got over it. the wall or all over the painting or whatever. My whole question is, is yeah. when, when George goes out on a night of drinking and he has to go pee. I don't drink. Does he squat? Don't drink. Because that would be creepy if he he's had a cranes he's around he's his Christian. His, his, he doesn't no, drink. No, we're out, bro. Oh, I you don't drink. When I'm well, out. how about if you just drink a lot of water and you're out? No, he I drinks. He drinks. Like, hey, he drinks. He drinks. He drinks. He drinks. I, I just, last month we had a little drinking. Oh, I, I, three shots. I'm like, a, you're going I'm, to hell. I'm fucking blasted. Bro. Were you really yeah. lightweight? Blacked out. Lightweight. I was vomiting, bro. Yeah, you were vomiting. My girlfriend. By the way, my girlfriend was shampooing my head in the shower. That's a good girl. That's a nice. That's a nice woman. That's called a keeper. It is. By the way. I pee out in public. I just need to correct this. I, I whip the dick out and stand up and... Okay, well, oh, that's, that's right. That's, that's right. Illegal. You don't give a shit because it's not yeah, your place. Okay, that's right. Yo, imagine if we were out somewhere with George and you saw him go to pee and he squatted yeah. behind the nightclub or some <laughs> that's shit. That's funny. Mike, just what's squatted. crazy is I just set that up earlier. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, Thanks yeah, for yeah. the layup. No reaction. No <laughs> fucking reaction. I said this is exact. If you want to rewind the fucking <laughs> thing, we edit the Mike episode. is trying to sell it like he just wrote that shit. He's like, you know what would be crazy? It just came to me. It just fucking came to me. <laughs> Imagine a night of drinking. Hold on. Here it comes. He has to pee. And he fucking squats behind him. Right? Am I right? You know what they say. Steal like an artist, Joe Coy. We're all just bucking. God damn it, Mike. Did your guys' ass cheeks touch the <laughs> Wait, hold on, bro. We've got to switch the topic. No, no, we've talked about shitting or yeah, pissing yeah. this yeah. entire we podcast. About serious. Yo, yo. Okay. Yes. Uh, Polygamy. Random. Wow. It's so random. Okay. I know. No, f- wow. I said switch a topic. A, I'm going to do That's an audible. It. Yeah. Oh my God. What are we doing? You know polygamy is illegal in the United States? Do you know polygamy is illegal in the United States? It's like crazy. having more than one wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, or husband, I would presume. Well, are there certain zoned area where I think areas like where Utah, it's okay? Utah. Utah. I like, think they made a semi but um Because of religious reason. That's why. Isn't there a religious No, but aren't there like to- small towns where people like are like, don't really give a fuck about those people and let those them do people it. marry their sisters. Yeah, not that not two sis, not two at the no, same no. Time. I there are certain towns like I bet you if you go somewhere deep in like deep Illinois, oh deep. you're in trouble, right? And you'll find like <laughs> really? a community, yeah, deep. where they still think that if you go past that tree, there's devils. Like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, plot yeah. twist there is. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't go past the, the Douglas Fern. <laughs> 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 Oh Jesus, COVID! No, but uh, it, it is. Yeah. It, no, it's it's illegal and it's weird. It affected me because I it's like I still I still think the United States is in this place where, like the 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 state the nation wants to be so controlling over individuals, mm. and it's fascinating to me. I always am curious uh, about this with comedians. Yeah. Uh, because your persona is the funny guy, always making jokes, cracking yeah. jokes. Is it hard for you to get serious when you need to, or or, or like when you get in a serious conversation with your partner? Will you make no, a, jo- no, a comedic no, no. relief? Uh, I think I, I think that would be the end all for me. If 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 the person I'm with doesn't know when I'm 
uh, being funny. It's hard sometimes. It's hard. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's not hard for me. I know. I know when you're being serious. But you're, and I know when no, you're being even, funny. Yeah, but, I know when you're being funny. But I your know voice, Joe, your you. voice is like, <laughs> even your voice has got like a comedic twang to it. Mm. So like, you know, I, That's I, so I, crazy. I can't tell when you're like, saying something serious, even mm. though I think I want to believe it. Mm hmm. Well, you just met him, bro. Yeah, you just you'd met him. figure it out. Well, it's I not guess. like I don't have a good read on people. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, sitting here listening. Mm. You know, I just, I can't tell when I'm gonna get fucking. Then he's grand slammed, or he's gonna say something serious. Yeah, or both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. He keeps you guessing. Yeah, and that's is one. It, of the, is that part of the reason? Is maybe hard to date, or is he just having trouble finding? No, it? I don't mind that. I don't mind that. That that's yeah, but that is one thing mm. when they when they don't get it. That that's so fucking annoying. Mm. I, and I also feel like it's also uh. Uh, what is it called when they uh, when they're sarc- not sarcastic, but uh, God damn it, I don't even know the word right now. Fuck but words. it's yeah, fuck <laughs> words. But it's just like I hate it when they <laughs> just use sounds I hate it when to you're, explain what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, right I now. hate it when you're <laughs> given a, a point and you're being serious, and they're like. Okay. Condescending. <laughs> condescending. Yeah. Hi, master. Hey, condescending. Master of that. So good he will it. make you feel like you're an inch tall. You're yeah. telling him something. He's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Joe, yeah. Josie, you know what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah. He's the master. <laughs> but but uh, here's here's a question. Uh, are you... <laughs> What? Are you? Would you say that one of the re- one of the bigger reasons you're not dating is because, simply put, you don't fucking want to? Like, 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 because here's the thing: it's a lot of responsibility. Mm-hmm. You pro- do, do you enjoy doing things your way all the time? Do yeah. you enjoy having your freedom? Do you yes. enjoy having your space? Yes. Do you have? Do you enjoy not having someone to fucking answer yes. to? So it's like, and, and, it's and, like, and, I, and I, 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 I'm in that place now where it's like I can get up and go, go. Crazy, you know, right? Like go. Yeah. Like not just get in the car. Like here we go, France. I can be like, hey, let's all fly somewhere. Mm. And I don't want anyone to fuck that up for me. <laughs> and, and I'm just and that's just me being selfish. I think like well, no, I deserve I, I deserve to give my son that kind of a life. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I missed a lot of my son's birthdays when I was working three jobs and 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 taking shitty gigs on the road or even doing weeks. Uh, two, three weeks at a time and, and not spending birthdays or Christmases with my son. I'm in a position where I get to pay that back now and, and I don't want anyone to fuck that up. Not even drugs? Drugs are a different thing. <laughs> He's yeah. like, that I you will do that drugs. No, I don't do drugs. <laughs> you, you smoke? No, I can't do that. I, I used to, but I, I, I stopped doing Does that. Does it How fuck come? with you? You want me to tell you the real story? Yeah, of yeah. course. Okay, you sure? I yes. Am. All right, so um, I have... Okay, I'll, I'll get. Uh, mm. All right, so my brother is, you know, he he has mental problems, okay. right? And uh, and I'm just, I'll, I'll be in and out of this real quick. Uh, and we've we've been dealing with this for a long time. You know what I mean? He's in and out of hospitals and stuff like that. Yeah, we're getting deep. Are you sure you want this for your? Yeah, well, this, is this, is this, is what this is what they like. Love okay, it, so um, <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, I remember my brother very vividly when he was uh, when he was uh, a, a teenager. He was rolling up. Right, he was rolling and he was putting it in a shoebox. And the one thing he said to me, I was a little kid, and he goes, "Don't tell mom and dad." And he put it in a, he put it in his closet, right, in a shoebox. So I always remember that. Like you always remember like mm-hmm. shit like that, right? And uh, and by the way, there's some other things that my my brother did that that's very traumatic that you know I've, I still talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, with people. Anyways, uh, man, you brought it here, bro. Okay, so uh, I was getting uh, this. Not, not. I, I was seeing like I don't know what they're called, but they're doctors that want to do things uh, without medicine, like Alter- homeopathic. Alter- 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 That's yeah. what is it? Homeopathic. Yeah. So I went to a homeopathic uh, doctor, and she asked me to get a DNA uh, test so she can read my body and mm. tell me what type of things I shouldn't eat or mm. what kind of vitamins I should take. So I did that, right? And so uh, I brought the, the paper to her and she went down this thing. And I, this is when I, this is like, I was not feeling this whole homeopathic type thing because I didn't believe them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You're kind of reluctant. Like, oh, come on. They're full of shit. They, mm. You can look at somebody like, oh, you need more vitamin B. Mm. And they're like, I'm a homeopathic. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And you believe them, right? This is when I started believing in this, this lady is when she started looking at my chart and she goes, she goes, do you, do you smoke weed or, or do any... Uh, THC, do you ever get THC in your body? Or, and I go, no. I, I go, I, I, I do it occasionally, but it's never like something I need. And she goes, you cannot do that. Your body chemistry is not allowed to have THC. I go, why? She goes, you have uh, a gene that is stimulated by THC and it's uh, schizophrenia. Yep. 
Oh, you know this? Well, I've and my brother suffers from schizophrenia. No See, I, got, I, got, I just got way. chills. I got chills so right you're now. You're prone to potentially falling. And into I it. cried in front of her, and immediately I thought of my brother. Like oh the trauma went all the way back to him rolling those joints, and like, and then I started blaming myself. Like, why didn't I tell my mom? Why didn't I tell sure, my dad? Sure, sure. Like I felt so fucking bad. But then again. That medicine was in, out in the 70s. Oh they didn't know. God. And and I literally, uh, yeah, I cried. I remember telling everybody about it. And and now I'm 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 scared. When someone has it, I get a little scared. Mm. You know, I did this weed show on Netflix, and I was literally just throwing it in. You know, I was pretending. Right. You know what I mean? I I would eat a little bit, but I was like so nervous because I knew what this doctor said to me, and I know she wasn't lying. Because I know it's it's in it's, my family. It's in your family. Sure. It's in my family. She wasn't lying, and that's when I believe. That's when I started believing in this homeopathic type research, there's, right? There's like a, there's a lot real. of there's a lot of merit in it, uh, bro. Yeah. Like for her to hit that on the nail like that, to see that is like that's she wasn't like reading the palm of my hand. Yeah. She saw something, and she knows that this st is stimulated by THC. Stay away from a it because it could activate. I did activate not know that was possible. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have a certain a certain part of your genetic sequence yes. that makes you more prone to schizophrenia based exactly. on your family line, and THC activates, activates that. It. Is what you're saying? Yes, and it people, scared me so much that I'm done. People yeah. don't yeah. respect, yeah. give enough respect to psychoactives. I'm t I'm telling you, even even marijuana, as far down as marijuana, it's such a light thing, and everybody thinks it's so simple, and it doesn't affect your mood, and it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't you know activate your your. Uh, you being prone to certain genetic, you know, malfunctions or, yeah. or, or mental illnesses, people really need to look into that stuff. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people out there who wake up every single day. They don't want to get out of bed. They're like, this is depression. No, it's you're smoking an ounce of weed a day. Yeah. You're smoking an ounce of weed a day and you are genetically, uh, dis, dis, Probably. disposed, yeah. like, what, whatever the fucking uh, word is. No, I hear you. Predisposed, predisposed yeah. to, to having a, a, a mental condition based on that THC intake. Yes. It's, it's a very, it's Mike. You're so right. You're 100% yeah. right because I, I never understood like when people go, oh man, this is, I get it. That when I smoke, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know the lingo, but like uh, I smoke this, it makes me feel good. And, uh, and I'm like, I'm always super paranoid and I start thinking fucked up yeah. shit yeah. about same, people. Same, yeah. same. Every time same. I get high, I'm like, I can look at you and think a certain way. Sure. Like, yo, what did, what'd you mean by that? Like it'll, my high is so fucked up. So I never understood what people were talking about. Like, I had I've never had a really good high. I'll laugh, but then it turns right into this demon yes. dark place. Yeah, yeah. man. I've yeah. had an to interesting where I go. relationship with weed because I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. I, I had I, the first couple, maybe ten times I smoked, all very dark, mm -hmm. very dark. Let me down a, a, a horrible path, and I hated the way it made me feel. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I'd, I'd freeze up in my own body, and then I kind of. Uh, Across the bridge, I got I got over the hump and I and I beat it per se. And then uh, Corona hit, and I was like, f you know, fuck it, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna push myself because all all I did was vlog, I'd be creative and fun with my friends. So I became like a full on pothead intentionally. Mm. I was like, how far can I take this? I pushed myself to the limit, really? like to the limit where I noticed I was getting angry when I wasn't high. I couldn't eat when I wasn't high. And I told Josie this the other day. Uh, the withdrawals that I've had, because I cut it cold turkey, it's the only way I know how to like stop a habit. Yeah. Uh, the withdrawals that I had, I don't know if I'm willing to experience that torment ever again. Yeah. I, I, insomnia, lack of appetite, mood swings. From THC, oh, bro. That's from, crazy. from a plant, from marijuana. So when you yeah. stopped, bad, bad. so when you stopped, you couldn't sleep. For, for so your two, body three was weeks. dependent for two to three on, weeks. There's definitely on, a dependence there. Wow. And, 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 and bro, I wasn't even like I say pie, pie for me. I'm talking like smoke every night, but it sometimes was small, in the day. But, but it was small. I mean, compared to like Evan. No, we we'd, no, we'd face a joint. But Evan's always high. Evan's yeah. always like yeah. Evan's that, always that's high. That's the thing that needs to come out of the conversation too. It's like I'm. I don't want to. This is not a, supposed to be a dare ad, kids. I you know no no. I smoked weed one time for different folks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I lost my I mind every night. And now I'm like, you guys talking? I'm like, whoa, maybe I should. Fucking. No, you just got to know. And I experimented with it because I knew I I got a pretty strong mental. I can get out of it easy. It, although it fucking sucked. Yeah. I, I I got out of it. And now the, we say this all the time: different strokes for different. Yes, folks. So for some, there's a lot of therapeutic yeah. value for yeah. a lot of people. I mean, oh, it's one, not. Yes. It's not. A, it's not one of those drugs like you know. I, I want to bring it up quickly: Purdue Pharma today the maker of oxycontin which has been responsible for the opiate epidemic that mm -hmm. exists in this country yeah. is finally facing federal criminal charges there today right yeah, so and it's very yeah. exciting for me this has a big part of my story there was some therapeutic power in those pills 
but the the downside of those pills was a massive tragic mm -hmm. ru ruined the fucking country a half yeah. a million dead americans as a result of one fucking branded pill right mm -hmm. marijuana is not the same way it's got a lot of therapeutic benefits it, it it ignites appetite in cancer patients it makes you know pts it might have help pts uh d victims but you know, you just, like you said, you got to look at how it affects you personally and then make a decision based on that. Yeah, 100%. It yeah, it's not for everybody, but you're right. It is therapeutic. Like, I, there are there are people in situations where I'm like, yo, I'd much rather you just smoke a joint than to take... <laughs> take all those bottles man yeah. like honestly yeah. you know oh, i have yeah. friends in my you know oh, I, yeah. I got a i got a friend that 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 you know smokes weed a lot but i i understand and i don't want to put his business out there but i understand i'm like yeah I, i'm 100 percent behind that i'd rather you do that than to take those fucking pills you drinking either or no no I, i've never been it's so funny that you said i was just talking about this the other night i literally drink to socialize right yeah but yeah. it's never been like i don't have a bar you know what i mean i don't have like <laughs> scotch yeah i'm like yeah, yeah i got yeah i don't have yeah, like yeah. i don't have some uh, got this great scotch. yeah i got some jameson it's delicious you know what <laughs> i mean like it's never been my thing yeah you know what i mean but I'll, I'll occasionally drink but don't get me wrong i i do uh get fucked up and that's not good that's when you when, good. when you drink yeah because <laughs> i'm not doing it for the flavor mike you know what i mean like yeah. i i What's never your, understood that i'm never like yo person. i could use a fucking gin and tonic right now part <laughs> what do you like, drink it doesn't what make do you sense drink? to me what do you drink i'd rather have a back you throw it back quick yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's real quick I, like i hate it when people go oh my god like i hate girls that go like this i love tito's like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck like are saying you i love being punched about? in the face yeah it makes no fucking sense to me like what are you talking about? Oh my god, this is so much better. Like what? What is better? It all tastes like what shit. Do, what do like you prefer? My foot. It tastes the same. <laughs> what do you prefer? What do you think? Uh, I, I will do uh, Jameson if I had to choose anything, brown but I have alcohol. to mix it. Yeah, it has to be brown. You get? Uh, you ever get angry? Clear, that? clear. I will end up, you know, in a in a back seat somewhere, yep, someone's yep. car. How did I get here? Like I, that's that's what vodka or tequila do to me. The but, older I get, the less I uh, vibe and mix with. Uh, alcohol. alcohol and weed, specifically alcohol. Yeah, I mean, I I I I, I throw up uh, pretty much every time I drink. Now, yeah. I, the other night, three a.m. Yeah, three a.m. Yeah. Me sitting out back by myself, just by myself, just throwing up, throwing up. Uh, mm. On my patio, just sitting there, just same with the pee situation. You can't just, find a bathroom to save your life. I don't like those. <laughs> I don't. You ever it's, thought about throwing up out a window? I bet you have. As opposed to in the toilet. You know what's crazy, Logan? Think about. It's cool. Logan, you want to hear something crazy? Um, I pee outside too, and I haven't said anything this whole fucking time. That's fucked up. Yeah, I pee. Why can't you I have, just have, I have my back? bathrooms everywhere in my house, and I pee next to the kitchen, off to and, and there's this area down by my Thank kitchen, you. and we pee in the same spot. Okay. Thank okay. you. And and my son does it too. And I learned it from my dad. Yeah. And 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 he pees on the same spot, and it's kind of like that. Now it's this alpha male thing, so yeah. I piss on top of his piss. Yeah. And um, and it's like no, this is my house. Sure. I pay everything. Mark your you came out of my dick yeah like that's where you came <laughs> yeah, from yeah, yeah. and uh and 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 i'm not even bullshit if i called him he would vouch for it like that's that's how i'm i'm not even lying me I just didn't say my anything. brother my dad my dog there's a side on our house yep. like just like just yep. like every other healthy father-son relationship yeah. like i don't from the midwest dude yeah. i saw my dad peeing once and two feet to his right his dog was peeing next to him i said that's a man and his dog i want that when i grow yeah up. that's beautiful it, nothing's man. changed that's beautiful that and that's that's a beautiful story you got TikTok, Joe Coy? You were like this, Dad, I want to be just like you. <laughs> and then he was like this, learn how to do the splits first. <laughs> oh, he shakes. Can't, he, can't, he can't do the splits. He can't. Do the he splits. can't? No, I can't. Oh. My mom, she's a gymnast. I got it from my mama. I'd like to see GP try a split. Can you still do the I splits? I can. Fuck, man. Yeah. That, I, I told uh, my nephew that's that's because he, he taught me all these... Uh, stretching exercises because like i said i groan all the time so i've been learning how to do you want to know stretch. how i could do the splits how because i really i'm not even joking <laughs> i i told them i want to eventually learn how to do the splits. check this out this is for everyone who's uh hella depressed because they're injured and they love activity sports you have a goal that you want to accomplish when it comes to athletics this is for you all right uh, so my mom was a gymnast so there yeah. i think there is a gene in me that's like inherently flexible but i wasn't inherently flexible I had a knee surgery when I was a freshman, took me out of the football season. All I wanted to do, just like every other kid, was be a pro football player. Mm -hmm. And I had a really, really, really bad knee injury, worse than an ACL tear. I tore a piece of cartilage about the size of a quarter Oof. in my knee. Cartilage doesn't grow back. So they had to like uh, stunt the growth by like uh, making holes in my knee and trying to circulate blood flow is a disaster. And when I went to PT, 
physical therapy, they'd always just make me stretch. I couldn't, I couldn't squat. I couldn't squat even a little bit. I could barely bend my knee type thing. Wow. I had to, uh, at night, sit in this machine that would move my leg for eight hours every night no while way. I while I slept just to just to get the motion back for like for like four months. Disastrous. This was like the, one of the darkest times of my life. It's when I made like a conscious shift to start like manifesting and writing my destiny because yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yo, I, I have to get it out of here. Like I want to be successful. I wrote yeah. all these things on paper. No shit. Yeah. So How like old were you? Fifteen. What? Just the so, fuck? so just started manifesting everything because I was I was so upset I couldn't go to school because I had to sit in this machine in the day and at night and um, I couldn't do football with the rest of my friends and so I'd always just stretch and uh, it was and that's what they always the told you stretch always just stretch it was always just stretch and finally when I was uh, able to play football again I still couldn't squat I couldn't do the weight so the rest of the football team is squatting is always just stretch and then I was like 18 years old and I was like. Stretching one day, I was like, holy, holy fucking shit, I think I can do the splits. I think I can do this. This is weird. I'm like a, I'm like a muscular 18-year-old that can do the splits. Yeah. And in wrestling, it turned out uh, to work in my favor because what I lacked in strength in my legs, because I still have pretty skinny legs, I made up in flexibility. Yeah. Then Vine came around, and now you have this six foot two like semi-built dude mm -hmm. that can hop into the splits. And I was like, you know, people say everything happens for a reason, whether or not that's true, or you can just apply it to anything to suit your life and the events that have occurred in it. What was the darkest moment in my life helped aid in me becoming this social media star? Cause the, uh, split videos are one of the viral. first videos that ever yeah. went viral. And well, like, that's, like I that said. put me on the map. Like, yeah. bro, I remember, I remember I was backstage mm -hmm. at the, I think it was the VMAs. I was presenting an award, uh, and BTS won. Mm -hmm. The band, the uh, the, the K-pop band, mm -hmm. massive, one of the, probably the biggest band on the planet. BTS won, and I presented them their award, and they saw me backstage, and they all looked at me, and one of them looks at me, the next one looks, and they all like start tapping each other. I'm like, holy fucking shit, bro, this is the this biggest plan band on the planet. I'm presenting their award. There's no way they know who I am, and they all go, oh, split man, <laughs> no, split man. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? wow, bro, what the, all because of these splits that I thought. At the time when I was stretching and wasting my time, yeah. so so it, it felt like was gonna aid in this this massive pro progression as just like a creator. And it was just it was fascinating so to see, dope, to see the, the the turnaround of something so that, that went, I thought was that so went dark. from fifteen to eighteen. Fifteen to eighteen, I would always just didn't do one squat. Type. That's so crazy. Not a single squat. And, always just and literally that's how how it happened. Yeah, yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. So can I just say we share a parallel? You could do lives, splits. lives. Uh, no, one with the uh, the peeing outside. Yeah, and two, the most traumatic injury to ever happen to me was when I was fourteen. I had to stay in the hospital for si uh, like six months, like seven surgeries. Whoa. Yeah, compound femur fracture. Whoa. Uh, busted I broke tibula, mine too. busted tibula and fibula, nice. but my bone came completely out. Com out of the skin. Compound. Yeah. yeah. What'd you, what'd you, what'd you do? Motorcycle. Yeah. Oh. And at literally at that 14? whole fourteen. I turned fifteen in the hospital. One break or or, sh or do you have a, a shatter? Or was it just one clean break? Uh, one clean break. It snapped out. I think this is what happened because my tibula and fibula snapped in half too. Right. But, but when I got hit, I got hit head on with another motorcycle, right? We were what? coming around the motorcycle same on path. Motorcycle? Yeah, it was at, at some recreation. I shouldn't have been there. Crotch rocket or like a modified little No, it was, a little, bike. It was a little dirt bike, bro. Okay, okay, and okay. By, by the way, I'm 14. So it wasn't like that's a 250. It was like an 80. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? YZ80. A, a 12. Fuck you, Mike. A 12. <laughs> Look at Mike. <laughs> a 12. What a bitch. It was this big. <laughs> what a bitch. It was bitch. this big on the counter. Wow. <laughs> 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 fuck you, Mike. I was doing heroin at 12. <laughs> All right. Tell us more about. I was what blowing strangers <laughs> for crack. <laughs> for crack. Tell us more about what happened on your tech deck, man. You're talking about your fucking <laughs> tricycle. Your Lego. Are you fucking kidding? Your me? motorcycle made a Lego. Let me tell you what I did. <laughs> <laughs> you want trauma? <laughs> Try shooting heroin up your asshole <laughs> while you cinch off your dick muscle. <laughs> Can we still monetize this? Can we still monetize this Can episode? Because this is informative. It's for the children <laughs> this guy's talking about scooters lego bicycle that's his sweet spot the burns are his sweet spot he's so good at him bro he said is that your is that your home what that's your best spot i dude. think i just i don't know i just i've always the comebacks or whatever it's always been my thing that's all right so you're in the to... hospital you shattered your whole body on a little um, lego bicycle hey i'll decide when to start my story back up, all right? <laughs> how's that mr conductor slow down all right it's not in mic it's impulsive Logan runs the ship, all right?
<laughs> Stay below, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my god! Shit. This is, I was so happy about oh, this, bro. All of us are gonna need to go to the hospital. Oh yeah, we're fucking mental burned, hospital. Bro. So, <laughs> this is you're affecting us <laughs> mentally. Uh, oh, shit. Dude, his shoulder's been directed at you guys this whole time, and I'm just I'm creeping bro. back. I'm just George like, is I'm like, like if I don't say anything, you won't look at me. This is the quietest I've ever been on a podcast. I was like, it's your guest. You got him here. <laughs> Hanging back. Say something, please, George. <laughs> They've been giving me shit for so fucking really? long. Really? Can't say this. Can't do that. Can't do this. I brought my boy. I'm like, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just unleash oh, the chain. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Don't we love it. it. We love Don't it. Don't say sorry. I love you guys, man. No, but I was in the hospital for six months. But dude, compound femur fracture. You got to remember, this is the 80s, so they don't have the technology. There's no computers yeah. or any of that shit. The the doctor literally literally said <laughs> we're gonna drill a hole through your <laughs> shin. This is real talk, you guys. I had four pins put into my thigh just to hold it in place, and then they drilled a hole through my shin and put a pin through that, and then a triangle to go over to hold the pin like this and attached it to weights. It was so. What do you mean it attached was so it to weights? Man. Attached it to weights on a pulley to pull my legs but straight. But this was this was what were dinosaurs still around at this point? Dinosaurs okay, are still okay. around. I'm gonna yes. go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, that was you should because that was a horrible fucking joke. <laughs> wow, um, but yeah, wow, it was, what a it pussy! Was, he shot and ran. He yeah, didn't yeah, fucking yeah. Wait for but the, the shot hit here. It yeah, didn't even hit me. Yeah. Look, <laughs> you want to see it? Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh oh, wait, you're gonna take your pants off? I want to be impulsive. Sure. Okay. Wow. Can we do this? this? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's fantastic. I'll, I'll step out of the way. Oh, you still have a scar from? Oh, it's bad, bro. Who? Oh, Who? Oh, Whoa! My God. And that's where it came. Wait, up. Caleb, can you see that? Wait, it, it, it looks well, like there's a... Turn to the side, oh, I, I feel like I could see something. What's protruding? Ah! Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that? Do you ever do that to girls when you're taking your pants All right. off? All right, George. <laughs> Just be like, yo, before you suck this, check this out. Poke, All right, poke. George. You poke me, I poke you afterwards. Poke. <laughs> Bro, it's was, an air bubble. Yeah. Was he showing well, your scar? Were you showing your scars yeah, off? Yeah, you no, missed he, it. He got his beat. He got his beat. It's not, it's not a scar, dude. He's got a pocket. He's got a pocket of air. I'm sorry, Mike. No, you, that's, that's what happens when you leave. Yeah, worse than yours, yeah. man. Yeah, because it's not a, it's not a scar. Got one here. Oh, that thing? That small thing? Hold that's, on. That's cute. What are those here. stirrups? From the nice. What's that? A pocket? I got one here. <laughs> oh, that was pretty bad. Okay, that one's I got pretty scars bad. Scars all over my body, Joe yeah. Coy. Yeah. And not from Lego bicycles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. From shooting air with my asshole. Tying <laughs> <laughs> my dick around my fucking neck. <laughs> 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 oh, that's that's funny. All right, so you, I'm surprised you have a leg. But then, yeah. how did that? How did? You transform that into here. Success. I'll show Mike. I'll show Mike. Oh yeah, you I'll have to see. It's kind of weird. It's kind of fucked up. It, in a good way, I guess. But all right, now poke it like a whoopee you know, cushion. So, like if I let the blood go through and then I. <sighs> That's. Are you getting that? <laughs> Which, maybe wait, my well, where's my camera? Maybe my scars aren't. <laughs> maybe my scars aren't that bad. That's, what's, that one's, that that's one's, not. That's not a scar. That's like a, like an. A part where Iron Man's costume wasn't built properly or some shit, yeah. dude. He could stick his finger inside of his fucking In body, body, dude. Yeah. It's, it was bad. It was Ugh. so bad. Good I remember God. I remember there was dirt inside the marrow, right? And, uh, and the doctor said, if we don't get all of this out, because I was in ER for about, I'd have to say, I'll, I'll make this number up, but it was a long time. It was about 10 hours. Because yeah. they said, we can't leave. They kept telling my dad, we can't even leave a little grain Nah, in there, if there's infection. a little grain, it's done. Your body will cut. Yeah, yeah, we will probably have to cut the leg. Sal off. Saline, a lot of saline. A lot, bro. I yeah. mean, elephant syringes. No, yeah. I remember them just squirting it, and I was screaming. It was the worst. I remember the guy, uh, the uh, doctor, Doctor Wigman was his name, and uh, and I remember him like uh, like say like because I was 14. He was like, "Say whatever you want, kid. Say it. That we don't worry. Just say it. Whatever you want." Because I was cursing and yeah. And he didn't care. He was like, just Good. do it. Good. Say it. Say Good. whatever you want, kid. Do it. And then he just kept doing it. He goes, I know. I know. I'm sorry. And just, what did uh, you say? No pain. No painkillers? I was just cur I was cursing at the person that was doing it. Like, you fucking asshole. You like, know at, I mean? at that age, you were already going yeah, nuts? Well, 14, bro. And I had my yeah. leg sticking out. Of my, right, you know, right, my right. leg was cut in half. And, you know, and they kept. And I just wanted to go to. Oh, oh. This is why I was really mad. Because I wanted to go to sleep. I go, just let me sleep. Uh, let me fucking sleep. And they go, we can't. We can't let you sleep. And Why? Because uh, when you're in shock, you can't go to sleep. You have to be up. If, you, if you're in <sighs> shock and they put you to sleep, you can die. Going, or so, going to coma, yeah. So yeah, going yeah. to coma. So they, yeah. you have to stay up. And oh, it, was, it was the worst. But did the that worst. parlay into any sort of success? 
You, uh, said, you said we had oh, parallel. Oh, because, yeah, the reason why. Did it? Yeah, motherfucker. I saw yes. stadiums. Um, <laughs> because you broke, are you talking about? Because your yeah. leg came oh, out of your leg? Well, because I had to stay in the house, and all I did was watch stand up. Okay, now, okay, yeah, that's yeah. what the okay, link Yeah, yeah, but really I thought you would put that together. But, uh, no, no, why the play. fuck would I put that together? I, I don't Can know. You maybe say Cliff something Notes. to him. Maybe just fucking Cliff Notes. Out. <laughs> maybe Cliff Notes next time Cliff for, notes. for Paul. Look at George. He said something mean about you before the show. What did you say, George? Did say something mean to him, please. What did you say? I didn't say anything mean to you. I'm just kidding. You got to know what to hold him. To fold them. I know I'm out of my league at this point. I'm a funny guy. I ain't, I'm in the back row. I'm chilling. <laughs> was your mom uh, with you for that surgery? Because you cr- I, you credit a lot of success to your mom uh, pushing yeah. you to do stand up. Right? Well, because before uh, you know, like it's hard to talk to 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 the young generation now because we move so fast. So it's, fast. it's crazy how you how you've adapted. You know what I mean? Like you've 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 moved forward. Like I, I don't understand. When is it going to be old for you and you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, like when? TikTok. Like TikTok, yeah. TikTok's old for us. Yeah, see, and that's what it was for me okay. when, when, when people said, uh, like when they said, uh, we have a vine. cure for polio. When they said vine. Oh, okay. oh cure for polio. <laughs> You're still doing horrible references. <laughs> that was that bad. It's a just, cure for polio was a good fucking joke. I, I know, I know, but... It's, see, that's, is that's this what's, a coffee house? Because no, that's you know where you're performing. I'm taking notes, Mike. He's he's Fuck, destroying. <laughs> no, obviously he's a professional yeah. comedian. I'm fucking not. Yeah, yeah. I'm just throwing out little fucking ziggers, George. Yeah. I'm doing what yeah. I can. Hey, I'm against the, the fucking ropes, Paul. George. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing what I fucking can, George. <laughs> Cure for polio. It's a fucking AIDS joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. It's okay. It's okay. Fuck. Yeah. This is where the comments go crazy. They're already going, yeah, crazy. They're going crazy. They're so happy. They're like, finally, Mike yeah. got what he deserved yeah, yeah. for cutting people off and yeah. saying mean replace things. Replace Mike with Joel. Replace, yeah. replace Mike with Joe Coy or Evan or someone. Yeah. Just not Mike. We hate him. Kill Mike. Joe Coy's right. He's an idiot. Shy hair in his ass. Tied his dick around his neck. Moron. <laughs> Fuck Mike. Yo. Oh. I can't oh, do this. Shit. This I is fun, man. I can't do Welcome this. Welcome to Impulsive. No, but I uh, no, but I, I love how you've you kept moving yeah. you guys. Like adaptation. But it's hard though, isn't it? It's fucking hard. Uh for isn't it? some people it's not for me. I'm a bit of a chameleon. Yeah. And I study formulas mm. and I study what works, then I do it better. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's I, I do my, notice that. It's been my key. I mm. none of my none of my formats, I don't think, none of them are new. I just I just see what people are doing. I'm like, oh, that could work. I may be able to do that, and that's then, so and then great. just practice, practice, practice. No, that's I great. I don't think till we hit podcasts like 150. I was like, got it. Yeah, 150 fucking episodes. I was like, ah, I think we got a little. I think this is something. Yeah, you know, that's also, great. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure when you started vlogging, there you would delete it. You wouldn't even edit it. You would just practice talking to the camera a few times. Am I wrong or? I think you're wrong. Who was that? Was that Mark? I think Mark did that. How dare you? I think you're wrong. I'm sorry. But even vlogging, even vlog, vlog, no, Mark. vlogging took me bro, look, three years. Like, I can't go back and look at the old vlogs I made, mm-hmm. my old content. Do you have trouble watching uh, your first stand-up? Bits? I can't watch any of it. Uh, why? It, you, it's it, hard. Does it annoy you, or you're like, wow, I was, I was, I was so green. I was so. Uh, Yo, well, because it's like uh, one, I'll miss a joke. That makes me mad. Mm. I'll miss a tag. That fucking kills me inside attack, where, attack, where, like a, where a, i just want to like kick the fucking tv okay. in because i'm like are you fucking kidding me i did that joke for a year and yeah. a half and now i this is my biggest moment i forgot it mm. i fucking forgot it like so there's a lot of things like that uh this was by far my this was my no not this is coming in hot um but my other one before this live from seattle was that was my baby man that was my well, I, everything. I, I, yeah, I watched that one. It was fantastic. I watched it three times. It's fantastic. Well, but the reason why it was my baby is because Netflix didn't give me a shot. They, they, they didn't want my special. So they kept turning me down, which was crazy because I was breaking all kinds of records. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was yeah. like selling out everywhere. I was like six months in advance. I'd, I'd, I'd have 15 shows sold out at improvs. I had multiple theaters. Sure. And, and then we were like, yo, we got this hour. And, and we went to Netflix and we knew that they were going to start doing original specials not just buy specials they were going to make specials yeah. and i wanted to be on that i wanted to be one the first mm-hmm, to do it because mm-hmm. it was their year 2017 mm-hmm. was when they were going to do it so i was like i need to be on that i knew everyone that was going to be on it like all the names they were bringing out of retirement to do it i was like i want to be on that run and uh they turned me down they kept turning me down and i was there, there was this one time where i was like oh, oh. I, I told my manager i was like fly him out just fly him yeah. i'll get a private jet yep. fly him they go watch my show 
Did limo they get, back they to the plane and flying back. That finally they just said, uh, well, one they kept saying they couldn't make it. They're like, we decided they to go just, ethnic. He's, no, 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 no. They, they, they. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they, they, they. Uh, they, 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 what they said is the calendar was full and was well, whatever they said is yeah, fine. Like yeah. it's their decision. It's not up to me. It's, it's their network. It's their platform. You know what I mean? So I could have went two ways, right? I could have been like fucking mad at the world and went on Twitter or whatever and blasted them. Yo, fuck Netflix. Sure. You know what I mean? Everyone cancel your subscription. <laughs> Cause that worked out so well last yeah, yeah, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I didn't want to do that. I, I knew I had an, a, 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 a fucking amazing hour. And, and I knew if they just saw it, mm. that they would buy it. Mm. So I paid for life from Seattle. I paid for everything. When you watch it, I'm broke, bro. Like completely. Both those shows I paid for, from all four walling it, to, to the promotion of it, to the, all the cameras in there, the director I hired, the producer I hired, the lighting guy, the fucking guy that made the JK behind wow. me, that shit. I remember when they came out, I was so in financially that it, I was just numb. To the point where they were like say, say something like, "Hey, you know this this floor is so old because it's an old theater. It won't look good on these cameras because yeah. we're using reds. We should laminate the floor." And I'm like, "How much? Twelve thousand. And I'm like, oh, "I'm well, like, well, and I'm like, production. I'm the exec. I'm the one writing the checks. And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, just laminate the floor because in my head, I it was the investment I had to make was it had it, if Netflix does buy this. It has to look like Netflix made it. Yep. I can't make something and and then, oh and they then, didn't shoot it. No, oh, no, he sold it. Dude, I I shot it. You could. and and you want to hear this, Mike? This is how fucked up it was. They well no. First of all, I love Netflix. <laughs> I love everything about <laughs> Netflix. They dropped I'm the glad. <laughs> I'm glad they put me in the position because I didn't think I had it in me to do mm, what I did. Mm. But and I'm glad they put me in that position to to step up to the plate and do it. I, I, and I made a beautiful product. But but uh. They, oh man, you're gonna love this. When they knew I was shooting it, they still called my manager and they were like, hey, just to reiterate, we're not interested. Oh man. Oh shit. Like, like basically saying, even if you shoot it, we're not, we, we're not buying this. We, we don't, yeah. That just to let you sucks. know, like we, we don't, and that, and they and they were supposed to do that. Yeah, like how, how can I that not be that completely demotivating? If, huh? well, how can that not be completely demotivating? Bro, you don't you, think you, I was, you, I was, I was backstage when I shot show, cause I shot two shows that night. And, uh, and the first show I was kind of mad because I didn't feel I wasn't, I wasn't on, I wasn't on. Mm. And, uh, and there was a couple jokes that I, I fucking missed. And I was so mad. Like, I didn't like my intro walking out. There was just a lot of pieces. And I remember up in the green room, you know, I got my son, bro. Yeah. Like, like my son's in the green room, like dad's about to do something, you know what I mean? And I got to impress my son. My son knows what Netflix is. He knows, he knows, of course. you know what I mean? And, and his dad isn't a part of that. And that's, it fucking hurts your yeah. ego, right? And now here I am trying to prove it. And show one, I got all my money in and I didn't, I didn't hit it out the park. Now I only got show two, you know? And I remember my agent was back there, my, my manager. And I'm just like, yo, this is not fucking fair. I remember yeah. I was so mad. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit, dude. Like, like I got to pay for this shit. And I remember my, aunt, my agent was like, dude, you're going to kill it. Just let us handle the, don't worry about it. Yeah. You're going to make something good. We got it. Just go out there and have fun. Fuck it. Just have fun. And, and I remember that was like that motivation that I needed to hear. And I, I killed show too. I fucking destroyed it. I, I add, if you watch uh, sh uh, live from Seattle, Five. that, that, that Five. first, the first four or five minutes is all off the top of my head. Like even when I talked to the lady in the front row about her peeing and all that. And, and then there was this <laughs> joke I did about, uh, uh, elevate your feet. Like none of that I've ever, ever done ever. Yeah. It was just off the top of my head. I treated that night. Like I was performing at a nightclub at a, at a comedy club. And, and, and I remember when I got off stage and I go, we got it. I go, we got That's so one. cool. That's so, there's yeah. so much nobility and believing in your product. 100% investing in yourself. Oh, oh please, a, man, but, but play, but, but make sure you tell these kids cause this generation doesn't get it. Yeah. They, they still think that, you know, oh, oh, you just, you just did a special on Netflix, uh, put you on and now you're successful. No, man. They, no. Netflix said, no, you guys. 
They said no about six or seven times. Even when they found out you were shit. That would have that would have killed me. That yeah. would have killed yeah. me. And I love Netflix. Everyone over there, Joanne, Neil, Robbie Prawl, all them cats, Robert yeah, Gamble, yeah, yeah. the whole family. I love them. And and it's not their fault. It's a business. It's yeah. a it's a fucking business. You can't I make some emotions. So, so I have to. Add. Yeah. They. How do I? How do I get mad at somebody that has to make a million dollar decision? Yep. How? 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 Like I bet Mike or George. Like no matter how funny you are, whatever, how are you going to convince this, this company with a million dollars? By the way, they don't even own the company. They're, they're being paid to make a responsible choice. Yeah. And now they're going to look at George and go, oh, yeah, here's one point, blah, blah, blah. Make, go make a special. What and then it reason? flops. What was their and reason? now they get fired. Uh, no, I don't, they don't have a reason. Well, he, said this, he said the schedule. Yeah. But I have to, I yeah, have to, that, yeah, that, they that said was the schedule. Reason, what, but what they changed, put me on. What, they put me what on What changed your mind? Did they, see, did they see the product? Oh, like, we brought, this, is, this we, is fantastic. We brought it to them. And it was so funny because uh, no, I won't do the personal shit. But, yeah. no. but when I, no, I can't because it's, it's, it's politics. Yeah, but uh, but I, I brought it. We brought it to Netflix. And literally it was about 30 minutes. And they called us and said, don't, don't bring this. Don't shop it. We want it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good feeling. Yeah. That's and bro, so when cool. I was in the editing bay, by the way, by the way, you guys, <laughs> all right, you fucking kids out there, <laughs> if you want something and, and, and you invest, you have to be in, involved in every step of the process. Yeah, start to finish. All right. Don't, don't let someone edit your product and they get mad when that airs and be like, but I didn't mean to say you were there, bro. Yeah. You edit it. Yep. Like you're responsible and then take full responsibility as well. But I remember when I was in the editing bay, uh, we were there for three days. And, and I, I remember that third day when we finally cut the end of it. I, we, we all high five. You're we like, Oh, we got it. That's so cool. Like, yo, this is the Such fucking a great one. Feeling. I, this is, this is going to be legendary. Yep. Like this, I felt like that one was going to be my, my, that was my, my piece. Magnus, that was, that was Magnus what Open, I'm going right? to, when I, when I retire, this is what my son's going to be proud of. Yeah. Like, this is my fucking moment. Yeah. And that's anyways, what, I didn't mean that's to what he, No, that's when he uh, t- first turned me on. Oh, to, live from yeah, Seattle? Yeah. yeah. Was, so, he goes, bro, there's this comedian. You got to watch it. Live from Seattle. Joe Coy. Oh, I, I came yeah. back from a trip with him and he, and he sat me down. He's like, yo, you really got to be a stand up. And I, being a stand up to me wasn't like, yo, be a stand up. I, I, I love acting, but people yeah. always say, yo, you're really funny. Do it. And I do this thing where I make everybody in the room laugh and it's just... We call it the George show. Yeah, it's just like a little bit that I just do when I know jokes in my head. But it's different than when you go on stage. So I go, okay, I've already watched all of your stuff. So now I'm going to go and watch it and pause and see how you're structuring your jokes. Like, how do you... Like, there's times where you pretend like you're forgetting something and you remember. So I'm sitting there and I'm watching you and I'm glad you said the first five minutes because I paused it. And I was like, there's no fucking way <laughs> this fucking shit's written. I was yeah, like, there's right. no way. Yeah. I paused, I rewinded, I go, did he put this bitch in the front seat? Like, yeah. how the fuck is this bitch laughing exactly the way he's describing yeah, that's shit? That's crazy. And so I'm sitting there, I'm watching, I call Logan, I go, can't do it, man. I can't. <laughs> yeah, no you, can. you No, you discouraged him because of no, how good it was. Can. <laughs> That's that's a that's a really hard because you have it right because like you you do he's it in hilar- front of. I'm in the moment. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him where so, he should start. Tell him where he doesn't know where to start. Neither of them do. Oh no. Where, where do you start? Nate, anywhere. You be a like I, I, yo, I did stand up in an empty nightclub, so it's like, uh, you know, I, I did him anywhere, a diner, any. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Like I, when I practiced my last Tonight Show set, I did it at a weed house mm. because I knew they had a, an open mic yeah. on a Tuesday and I needed to get up. So. To have an excuse of saying, oh, there's nowhere open. Like, I can go up anywhere. If you put a, a, a mic there and we just put some seats, I'm going to do it. Are you not nervous if there's no, like 11 no, people? No. What scares me is when there's less people because then you can oh, fucking that's, that's when you should them. be. That's when you should be scared. Yeah. When there's less people. When you do an arena, no, you shouldn't. The energy is already there. control. Like, yeah. They're there. Like, the, the, when, they're, when they're there, it's because they're there for you. When you're in a coffee house and it's seven people, they're there for a coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Yeah. So now you really got to sell. I mean, how so many when times I, have you when bombed? I, oh my god! So I mean, my first time on stage, I fucking ate it, dude. It was. Uh, I remember uh, going to the comedy store and walking out when it was my my call, like when they were like, "Hey, you're next," and I was like, yeah, "Just ninja it out." <laughs> There's so much of that that people don't see. Yeah. All it's like scary, like you talked about before, all that overnight success shit yeah. is really twenty fucking years buried oh. under the. The surface and mm-hmm. people never see it. Yeah, I, I love telling people like you know respect where I came from before you get mad at where I'm at. Sure, right? Absolutely respect it, dude. Because yeah. I put a lot of years into this shit, a lot, dude. 
I'm, coming in hot was uh, amazing too. That was that was my favorite uh, special. But that one, that was another one where I uh, I had to improvise a lot because this chick in the second row barfed on the chick in the front row. Amazing. And, That's awesome. And, That's and, always and, good. and the whole left side, uh, no, the whole right side was complete fucking chaos. So I had to play left on the first show. So Matt, I remember telling the chick, I go, I have over a million dollars in cameras here. You're not gonna fuck this night up. You're not gonna fuck this fucking night. I was so mad. I told, I told everyone, I go, stop the fucking cameras. I go, you're not gonna fucking end this night. I go, this is my night. There's a million dollars of fucking cameras in here, and this is not your fucking night. I go, and I, I forgot what else I said. I go, are we good? Turn the fucking cameras on. Fantastic. I was so fucking mad. Fantastic. Wait, you were was, mad while performing? Yeah. Uh, how does that not fucking I up? was not Okay, a lot of people say I um I saw this on Jamie like Jamie Foxx did this special and he had like uh outtakes. And uh and in his outtakes his his uh I think his jacket broke or something broke during his set and it was an outtake he put yep. it in and he goes, "Oh, we can cut this all out." Or something like that. He's like, "Oh, we can edit this out." So my my first three specials, I never remembered the Jamie Foxx thing. I, I always barreled through my mm, my sets. Mm. Like if something was went wrong, I just kept going because I was like, "Oh, the cameras are on. Yeah. Just fucking do yeah. it. Just ignore it. If someone does something, I'll ignore it. Whatever." Like, and that was on my first three specials. Um, that third one, I remember Jamie. That's I the best Jamie. shit. That's I remember what shit. Jamie did, and and when that shit happened, man, right it was, into it. Man, yeah. I looked at the camera and uh, and, I, and I and I and I said the director's name. I go stop. Cut. Yep, yep. I go, bitch. You are not gonna <laughs> fuck this one up, man. Not this one, bitch. I got eight thousand people in this motherfucker. We're not stopping for one bitch. Yeah. You're gonna stop this shit. Was she just kept throwing up? No, it was just this insanity. It was just fucking yelling, and then there was oh, vomit. But so like, it was too much. Like if she just vomited, just you would have made a joke about it and kept it moving. But it just the whole crowd. Exactly. Stood up. If yeah. she, if it was if it was one thing where they could have cleaned it up and yeah. just like which they were trying to do, but there was just this. Well, you get vomited on. on. It's just being annoying. No, I'm not. I'm not saying the chick that got vomited on. I feel for her. Right. It's the other bitch that, vomited. that yeah, or, or someone in that crew that was fucking it all up. Was she and trashed or she eat some bad Red Lobster? Or you like know what, man? <laughs> Maybe it was her diet, Mike. I don't fucking know, bro. Yeah, it was. Uh, she doesn't like broccoli. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I thought you would have seen what was in the puke and been able to yeah, answer. I, I, I was checked it I out. I stopped the I cameras seen, and go, "What did you eat? Well, I, 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 I'm she, allergic she, to fucking uh, no zucchini. Mike, zucchini, no." I had no idea. I was just, I was upset at the situation and I knew if I let it keep going, it was going to fuck that whole special up. Yeah. Did so I had to stop well? it. Huh? Did it end up killing? Oh, dude, that, that's one of my favorite specials is coming in hot. So listen, Georgie, I'm only saying this cause I want it documented on record. Cause yes. I don't know if it has been yet, but you took the leap when you moved to Hollywood to do whatever you felt like you could do. And it ended up working out for you. You just got to take the same leap into stand-up comedy because I really believe in you, and I think that's a, such a strong, innate lane for you, and I push you. Bro, there was that time, remember, for a month, every day, texting you, reminder to do stand-up comedy, reminder to do yeah, stand-up yeah, comedy. Yeah. You just got to do it, bro. I know it's scary. I oh, know it's scary. Yeah, it's terrifying. terrifying. I'm going to tell you terrifying. right now, it is the worst Yo, especially, especially cause, you Check this out. Check this out. He's in a little bit different of a boat because, like, People know him, and he's and, and he's already funny online, right? He can make yeah. the cuts in post production. Yeah. That is hard. So, so when he comes in, there's a stigma already attached to being George yeah. Janko that oh, this guy's hilarious. And if he's not, I bet you, you in your mind, it might upset you that you don't match the image that people see online. That's what it is. I was I actually because we talked about it. I mm -hmm. you even were nice enough to be like, yo, come on. Yeah. to the show, mm -hmm. open up for me and get your, your yeah. cobwebs off. and Feet wet. Yeah, and yeah. so... That but that's also... Uh, and let me tell you why I said that too. Because I did it for Batch too. Are you guys still friends, right, Batch? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we love and Batch. And I, I love Batch. Yeah, and, uh, and what I love about Batch the most is when he wants to do something, he fucking does yep, it. Yep, yep. When he says he's going to do it, he's doing it. Yep. And I love that about him. And, uh, and when he expressed interest about doing stand-up, I, uh, I go, bro, I know how famous you are. And if if you put your name on a bill, th that house is going to fill yeah. because of your name. And you better make sure that you can live up to that That's, responsibility because yeah, yeah. you're asking for a lot of money and you're going to make a lot of money. And if they leave mad, you've just not only lost fans, but that shit is never coming back. Yeah. Even if you do get yeah. good. 
Fuck, even now if you I'm do even get more good, they're not coming you, back. Hold on, because you you think that, but also at the same time, if they truly are your fans, they do give you a little bit more of leniency. On no, your show. I think they would give. <laughs> no, I, I think no, they would Mike, give George and Mike, you should not even address it. Not even not, you say get like, that hey, completely this is out of your head. If you fucking suck, they are not going to come back. Right, right. I guarantee. No, you. not come back. Yeah, I guess. That, yeah, yeah so it. you have the responsibility to right, make sure right. your shit is right. Mm, yeah, it's yeah. A, you know don't. It, that's an art form, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, and you got to respect Absolutely. that art. You would suck Absolutely. if Pearl Jam came out with no guitars, and you're like, <laughs> but they still want 500 a show, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, so, uh, like, uh, old re- old man reference, by the way. Love Pearl uh, Jam. Oh, you great did. fucking band. And now dude. I love Ten, you, Mike. Dude, Vitology, Vitology, Vitology oh, great fucking so albums, bro. Um, but, but ending but on a good is, note, I love this, this. This is what I said to uh, Batch. I go do my show. I already have a built-in fan base that only knows me, and I won't even tell people you're coming. I won't say batch. I won't even say, you know, even hint. Yeah. Just come. Just sneak in. Because yeah, the show's already sold out. Yep. I don't need you to sell my tickets. I sell my own tickets. And just come in. And they'll give you the most honest feedback. You know what I mean? Yep. They will be the most honest with you. You know? And, and it's not only that, it's humbling too. It's humbling to be someone like Batch who has, I don't know, 20 million, whatever yep. it is. Yep. And to come into a room where we don't know who this guy is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like maybe eight of his fans are there. But the rest are an older demo. How you know what I mean? How it's my it? demo. He did great. And he and he would do it all the fucking time yeah. until he got this rhythm. You know what I mean? And that's that's what you need. You need to be able to just like not use your name and just go up and fail. Because failure is good. You failure, might not, you might not where, even when I the, when I I've only been on stage way, a, co- a couple times, and the first thing I noticed immediately was that the energy either drives you or breaks you. Yeah. When I get when I get on stage and there's a, a I've done just speaking, but I'll joke around a lot and I'll go off the riff. The, the energy of the crowd makes me feel like yeah. I feel great. Like yeah. I'm like I'm in front of these people. They are engaged with me. They're paying attention. It's very different than a camera. Yeah. There's no one there looking at you right now. There's no one there laughing at all your jokes. When yeah. that crowd starts laughing, it puts you to a fucking, it puts you to the moon. Yeah. It gives you the confidence that just makes you go and it brings you to a level you would never get to in front of a camera or three people in yeah. a fucking room. But you also You'll crush need to- it. But you also have to learn how to uh, adapt to a room that's not responsive. For sure. Mm-hmm. And, and, that's, I, and that's, that's where scary. the coffee that's house, me. but yeah. that's where the coffee houses come in play. That's where the garages come in play. That's why I'm not scared to do that. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, okay, good. You're, you're not laughing. That's fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, but that's what you're learning. That's the, 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 the skin, the shell, the armor that you're building when you do shit like what that. What do you do in those circumstances? I just keep going. Yeah. I, I really don't give a fuck yeah. if you don't laugh. You know what I mean? I'm rich. So, you know what I mean? mean? Like, <laughs> I, uh, that's the attitude. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it really is. So, I, I w- like I said, I was thinking about it, and I think I, I, I got spoiled with it. I really never had a failing moment, and mm. I think that's what scares me. When I came into social media, I knew dick about it, like nothing. Logan's like, hey, you're really funny. I'll put you on. You know how to write jokes. And then he just gave me a fucking platform, and then I just thrived from it. Mm-hmm. We My first movie I auditioned, did amazing I got so lucky Killed in the box office mm. I did my auditions First year I booked five in a row And was on huge TV shows I've never had anybody Be like You just fucking failed And everybody Since I was a child Is like Do stand up And I think I run away from it Because I don't want To let people down Yeah and it That's, that's the, the fear though But that's everyone That's just Stand up is scary bro I mean public You know Public speaking Is the number one fear So right? scary like, I'd rather I'd rather do what Will did and, and jump off a hot air balloon and, and bungee. Yeah. As scary as yeah. that is, yeah. I'd rather do that. If they gave me an option <laughs> when I was deciding. Holy to- shit. That, there's no fucking way. <laughs> wow. But impossible. <laughs> That's my dad. That's great. <laughs> Greg Paul is in the house. Caleb, can we get Ask it? him where he pees. That's amazing. <laughs> uh oh, oh, here he comes. Come on. Hey, what's up? So dad, this is our guest, Joe Coy. How are Stand-up Joe, comedian. Man, how are you, boss? Uh, we, we had a funny the, conversation. I just shook his hand. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. No, no, no. I wish you were here for the pod. You'll understand. I, I had to shake your hand. It was an inside yeah, yeah. joke. It's well, mandatory. Yeah, and, is, is and he I have COVID. Yeah? He, I have he's, COVID. I, I carry it around. I give it to everybody. All right, listen. You can't, you can't come on the podcast saying you have COVID wearing a Trump 2020 hat. <laughs> In fact, Caleb, don't even pay on the camera too many more. Dad, back up. Yeah, back up, back up, back up. Back up. <laughs> this it, it was it was so fun and familial and it's yeah, still yeah, it, bro. Energy. When is it not? He fun can have his GP, opinions. Bro? Yeah, I know, but uh, he can have his opinions. Uh, I, uh, no, 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 no. Don't fucking silence your dad. He pees with his dog. 
We were talking about us peeing, and you know how we always pee outside. Yeah. Why I, does your dad look younger than Mike? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm doing, I'm putting oh, that out I there. Love it. Why does he, he look eat younger venison. than Mike? He eats venison. Oh, venison. I'm telling go. you, it's the you meat. Know, I, I knew it. I you listen, know I knew it. Yeah. I looked older until I had COVID. Yeah, yeah. Just stop. I got stop. COVID. We're wrapping the show up, Joe. Joe, you got, uh, you got a show coming up, semi capacity. Uh, right? yeah, we got some shows, but go to JoeKoy.com, J-O-K-O-Y.com. But I also have a Netflix show that's about to come out, and then uh, my new special on Netflix. Uh, in his elements where I shot it in the Philippines. Fantastic. So, yeah. Very man. cool, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll be watching, man. Thank you for coming on. Oh, oh. And People's Choice Award. Everyone go vote oh, for me right yeah. now. Yeah. Congratulations. Go vote right now. Congratulations. It's worth double. I want that award because that, that that special that I shot in his elements meant a lot to me. And, it, and I would love to bring that award back to the Philippines. For Fantastic. That. Eddie, Fantastic. Go see an Eddie, Eddie Vedder show with me soon. Eddie Vedder. I will do that. All right, let's do it. I will. Let's bro. connect. Old, old people you know. Yes. Scars and all. <laughs> Can I bomb at your shows? One million percent. This I've already amazing. said that, George. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of Impulsive. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Take Let's it easy. Go. Bye.